says in the book of Philippians 2 and 13, it says, for God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what he pleases. The Bible is very, very strategic and it says that he is working in you, giving you the desire and then comes the power. What I want us to do right now is I'm seeing a lot of people praying but I'm also seeing a lot of people that are distracted. You're not focused on Jesus. And what I want to see right now is just pray this simple prayer. As you know in the book of Acts chapter 2, they were in one accord. They were in one mind. They were in one spirit. And I want us right now just to hold the hand of your neighbor. And simply just lift up this prayer. Holy Ghost, align me tonight. Let me not miss what is going to happen tonight. If it be that I find power tonight, Father God, let it be our place that you position me. So right now, begin to lift your voice. Say, Holy Ghost, position me. Holy Ghost, align me. Holy Ghost, take away every distraction. Even as it was in the book of Acts, we were in one accord, one spirit, one mind. Holy Ghost, align me. Begin to lift your voice and pray. Oh, and what's the matter tonight? So, Father, align us. 
Spirit of God. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 8, it said, the wind blows wherever it wants. Just as you can hear the wind but cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going, so you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. I want us to pray. And as we're praying now, we're actually going to go on a bit of a journey. And I want us to pray, Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, lead us tonight Holy Spirit may everything that we are doing let us be taken over by your spirit for the Bible says that it is the spirit that knows all things yes even the deep things of God the Bible also says that God is a God of mysteries and he reveals his secrets so that makes me understand that in the place of the spirit there are things that I can access that I can't access if I'm not taken over by the spirit so right now, I want us to pray. I want us to pray this fervently. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, would you lead us? Holy Spirit, would you take us up and take us on a journey in prayer right now? That tonight will be the night that I capture everything that you have held for me in the yes. Spirit. That tonight I will not miss what you have held for me up in the Spirit, but I will receive tonight. If this is your prayer, begin to lift your voice. Begin to say, Spirit of God, take over. Spirit of God, Spirit of God take over. Spirit of God, Spirit of God take over. Spirit of Just God. beckon on the Holy Spirit. Beckon on the Holy Spirit. Beckon on the Holy Spirit. And come to the place of your desire. Beckon on the Holy Spirit. Beckon on the Holy Spirit right now. Spirit of the living God, we pray, oh God, that you would take us over. Take us over. Take us all, God, even to the place where Father, as your word says, that it is not us that pray, but it is the prayer of the Spirit. 
Holy Spirit of God, would you take us? The Spirit of God, would you lead us? The Spirit of God, would you take us to Spirit of God, take over. Spirit of God, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Rasta Kutopa, Come on, come on, I want you to begin to pray. The Bible is seen in the books of Exodus. God has called Moses to come a little bit higher because on the top of on the top of the mountains, uh, there are things that I need to show you. Uh, you came to an all night. God is waiting for your spirit uh, to begin to descend in the realms of the spirit. Uh, come on, I need to begin to lift up your voice in this place uh, yeah, and begin to wrestle God is waiting upon your spirit to begin to descend. When you pray, I can feel it the realms of the spirit. We didn't came to make a show of the play church tonight. We really came to pray and wrestle with the angel of God. I don't know about you, but I came in this place because I need something from God. I didn't came to play cute or to play church. I can tell you the time has come for the real children of God to begin to manifest. There are a lot of things are happening in this world. There are a lot of people are dying, but you are still alive. In spirit, it's the mercy of God. I'm looking for the people who can say enough is enough. No matter my situation, no matter my circumstances, I will pray until I see my situation is changing. 
I'm looking for people like Jacob. No matter what, I will still praise you. I will still worship you. I'm I'm looking for people like Esther. I will wait until you give me what I have asked you. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Oh God, your children are here. It is shifting up. We are entering the ways of holy. Rekaina India. Rutuni India. I can feel it. Raa. Raa. We are calling this night upon the angels of deliverance to enter this building like a fresh wind. If you pray, I'll let go for only five more minutes. I can promise you, every problem in your life can change it in a minute. We are here, oh God. We are your brother. Come on, come on, come on. It's We are almost there. We are almost at the place that God wants you to be. But to little to push a little bit more. Reconnie. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. It's because the baby inside of you, uh, you need to give birth. Uh, there is the reason why you're going through all so hard battles. Uh, I can promise you, uh, if you just push uh, for three more minutes, uh, hey, I'm looking this night uh, for people who will really encounter the wrong 
power of God. The raw power of God. Not to fall down like this. You take her. I can feel it in my belly. It's like something wants to enter this building. But God is waiting upon you. It's time to manifest. The Bible says the world is waiting upon the manifestations of the Son and the Daughter of God. How many times will you stay like this? It's time, it's time, it's time. I can feel in my spirit. I can hear it clearly. The Spirit of God is saying, It is time, it is time, it is time. It is time for you to manifest. It's time for you to wake up and come out of your slumber. Come and begin to pray just for five more minutes. In the all the Lacon the king, the king, the king, the 
I don't know about you. Listen, something is really shifting in this place. If you are sensitive, you can feel that something is really shifting. Listen, I've been through this much, a lot of things. I, I, I can tell you, I've been through the worst of the worst. But I didn't give up. Because in my mind, I knew if I push a little bit more, the, I will walk into the promise of God. Listen, I came this night in this place. I, I came to look for people who can really say how much it will cost me. I will still push through. No matter the circumstances, no matter how much heartbreak I've been through, no matter how much sick I need to go through, I am still here to push through because I know there is prophecy is hanging over my life that I need to fulfill. I need to really this night to begin to become aggressive. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna make you a little bit angry in the spirit. You know, because of you, your family isn't safe still. It's all because of you, because God has chosen you, but you are still playing. The reason because your family are going through a lot of sickness is because of you. If you stand for God, if you push through, you will see what, the, what God will do with your family. But God is waiting upon you. He has chosen you to fight the battle. It's all because of you. They are waiting upon you. So right now, we are about to wrestle. And we are about to say that this night, whatsoever is going through in my family, it's need to break. It's need to break. No matter how much you have sinned yesterday, there is mercy available in the atmosphere. No matter what you did one hour ago, there is still mercy available in the atmosphere. So come up and begin to intensify your prayer in this place. Before we are about to praise and worship God, intensify. Let your spirit begin to descend into the realm where God is to meet you. Until we see your promise, 
manifestating our life. Rekada, la bronto prata, rekela iria, vida da tania, rokundi de misura, la, la, via, 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 Whatsoever is disrupting us to break and worship you, whatsoever is limiting us to God, to put through. We are breaking it tonight. We are breaking it. Break bread. Rapa. Libra Tinia. Rapa. Nina Ramana Ramana Ramana. Supente de cor. Lipania Tela. Rakuria Supre. Rakuania Katuata. Hasta Eleka Hakaita. Recoria Le. Libri Tanama. Remember the promise of your life. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for this precious moment of prayer, God. Father God, I pray. I ask, oh God, let out of this all night your remnant has arise, O oh King. I decree and declare that out of this place, lion and lioness shall come out to God. Have your way like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We are young people in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I like the energy. We're going to praise the Lord with water you turn into wine. So let's go with our pants now. Let's go. Everybody, everybody. In one accord. In one accord. In one beat. Okay, we got it. Timing, 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 everybody. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We in it. We in it. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. One more time. Clap your hands. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
water you turn into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you Not like you Into the darkness you shine And out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you not like you. Okay, church, say it for me right now. Water. Water. Okay, open. There's no. Not like you. Into the darkness you shine. Hey, out of the ashes we rise. There's no. There's no one like you, not like you. We sing together, water. Everybody say, water, you turn. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you, not like you. Not like you. Hold up, hold up, into the darkness you shine. Hold up the ashes. Time the same way. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Stronger. Our God is stronger. Higher than any other. Cause He is our healer. Awesome in power. We bring it up, my God. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. He's stronger. You are higher than any healer, healer, healer. Awesome. I got God. And if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who could never stop us? And if they walk his hand, and if our God is for us, then they walk his hand. Then what? Then what? They walk his hand again. Nothing will stand against me, Lord. Mighty and nothing will stand against my victory, Lord. Say, the walk is dead again. The walk is dead again. Oh, the walk is dead again. Be Lord, nothing, nothing. The walk is dead again. Stand against me, Lord. My victory is here. Then walk his stand. I will walk upon everything, God. Hey, you are cleaning my path to walk to you, Lord. Then what? Then walk again. Oh, then what? Then what? Then what? Then what? Chase 
atmosphere. Atmosphere. Deep. Deep down. Break. 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 Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come down. Come, Come down. down. Come down. Come down. Come out! Holy Spirit! Come down! Have we no pain? Hey, we declare it one more time. Atmosphere! Shift! Chains be broken! Break down! Holy Spirit! God! Have we no pain? Sing atmosphere! Everybody say! Atmosphere! Shift! We're all power in this place tonight. We declare you will stay here, Lord. Have it. And must be here. And must be here. Come on. Chains be broken. Break up. Say, Holy Spirit. You will come down. Come down, Holy Spirit. You will come down, Holy Spirit. Come on, you will come down. We say, Holy Spirit, you will come down. 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 Holy Spirit. You will come down, declare. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will come down. You will come down. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will come down. You will come down. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will come down. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Will come, down. Will come, down. come on, Holy Spirit, the church. Holy Spirit. You will come down. Holy Spirit, you will come down. Come on, declare it. Holy Spirit, hey, you will come down. You, you will come down. You, you will come down, Holy Spirit. 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 You will come down. 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 You, 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 you. You will come down. You will break chains. You will break chains. You will shift it. You will shift it. You will come down. You will come down. You will come down. You will come down. Your Holy Spirit is in the place. You will come down. This is our declaration. This is our declaration. We're asking. You to you come, come down, down and you must you be into this down. place. You will come down. 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 Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you will come down. You will come down. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will come down. You will come down. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will come down. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will come down. Come down, 
Come down, come down, come down. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will come down. 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 You will come down. You will come down. You will come down. Holy Spirit. You will come down. Holy Spirit. You will come down. Say break, break, break. Break, break, break. Say break, break, break. Say break, break, break. Depression break. Suicidal break. Say break, break, break. Say break, break, break. Break, break, break. The changes break. It's breaking off. It's breaking off. Say break, break, break. Break, break, break. Say break, break, break. Say break, break, break. Break, 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 break. Say break, break, break. The changes break. It's breaking off. Break, break, break. Say break, break, break. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. It's breaking off. Say break, break, break. Break, break, break. It changes break. Suicidal break. I hear the change. They are breaking off. The break of pain. The break of pain. We are breaking it. In the name of Jesus, say break, break, break. Say break, break, break. I hear the change. They are breaking off. I hear the change. They are breaking off. We say break, break, break. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. It's breaking off. The change of pain. The change of pain. It is breaking off. I see it now. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. We say break, break, break. Break, break, break. Come on, break, break, break. Break, break, break. The changes break. Suicidal break. It's breaking off. It's breaking off. We declare break, break, break. Break, break, break. I feel the change. They are breaking off. They are coming off. Say break, break, break. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. I speak tonight to every change of bondage. Break, break. I speak tonight to every suicidal doctor to break, to break. And we are standing this night, every change that is holding you into your best. It's break, it's break, it's break, it's break. Say break, 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 break. They are coming on. We say break, 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 break. I can see the change falling on. I can feel the change. They are screaming on. Break, break, break. Break, 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 the changes break, suicidal break, we say break, 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 I hear the change, I hear the change, they are breaking off, it's coming off, come on lift up your hands, break, 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 break. I'm calling tonight of an angels in this place of deliverance to deliver you of every change of your best. 
break, 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 As we are about to enter to a time of worship, I need you to really surrender everything to God. Because His presence is here. Hallelujah. And this moment, I need you to begin to lift up your voice in this place. And begin to raise a sound for Him. Come on, raise a sound for Him. Come on, raise and shout for him. Come on for 20 more seconds. You know, I always say that we are not singing a bunch of songs. <laughs> we are loving on God. And what I humbly want to ask you is that you stand in the presence of God or either you kneel down, but the only one that's going to sit is God himself. I didn't know why you came here. I don't know what your expectation is, but what I do know is that God has the answer. And if you just know how to worship him, if you will just know how to touch his heart with your worship, God will start to run for you. You know, God, he runs for his worshipers. And the deeper you worship God, the more you will know him. And the more that you will know him, the deeper your worship gets. So I'm giving you a moment to close your eyes and to worship God. Maybe you didn't worship God yesterday. This is your moment. Maybe you didn't worship God for the coming months. This is your moment. Maybe you didn't worship God when you woke up. This is your moment. So I want you to create a sound. And I want you to start loving on God. Come on, love on God. I'm not starting with a song until I feel that your worship has intensified in this place. Come on, intensify your worship. The preaching is for us. The ministration is for us. But the worship is the only thing that to give up to God. Come on, worship. Come on, pour out your heart.
come on, is this the way you worship him? Aha. Uh -huh. This is what we will do 24 7 in heaven. Sing Adonai. Se manifestará. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh, how much I love you, Jesus. Simon. 
manifestará se manifestará se manifestará come on don't be distracted close your eyes worship him se manifestará Se manifestará, se manifestará, se manifestará, se manifestará, se manifestará. Come on, worship. Come on, worship. How would you worship if you would stand right in front of you? If you push a little bit further, the glory will start to enter in. If you intensify your worship, a little bit more the glory will start to invade this place uh-huh there it is come on come on uh-huh
Angels ascend and descend. Angels ascend and descend. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we're going to do. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we're gonna do. We worship you. Worship you. We worship you in the truth. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, we worship you. We worship you in the spirit. Oh, Like rain, 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 like rain
Holy Ghost and my spirit cries Elohim Adonai and I speak in tongues and I speak in tongues in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost and my spirit cries and my spirit cries Elohim 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 and I speak in tongues and I speak in tongues si peca palaba sovrella si pella ma suvele me copaila i canto suvele veria ropele me copaia Sing ay 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 
Push it. Aha. 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 Sing. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, where my lions at? Are there people that can roar from their spirit, man? Sing I I I Sing I I I roar like that I need you to scream it from the top of your lungs aha we are getting there I only hear the choir come on aha come on aha come on aha uh -huh. now you're roaring I want you to let the devil know that he is in trouble I want you to make sure that the cap of the enemy is shaking by your chronics. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's go. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. We are ready to run. Ay, 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 ay. We are ready to run. Ay, 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 ay. Sing ay. Sing my yeah 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 Oh yeah 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 Sing my yeah 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 Come on yeah 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 Oh yeah 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 Come on yeah 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 The Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai Hey, 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 hey Oh, Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai Begin to lift up your voices to him. I am Papa Lia Tonde Tekea. He is Adonai. He is Adonai. He is Adonai. He is Adonai. Come on, lift up your voices. He is Adonai. Ekelia Tua. He is Adonai. Ekepelia Tua. He is Adonai. Ekelia Kapatua. He is Adonai. Elepekurata. He is Adonai. Ekeshatai Kapa. Hey, come on, lift up your voices to him. Ekeli Akatatuta. He is Adonai. 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 
He is Adonai. Come on, exalt him. Exalt him. We are still in the mode of worship. Exalt him. He is Adonai. Come on, come on, come on. He is Adonai. He is Elohim. He is Adonai. Come on, exalt him. Come on, we are still in the mode of worship. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, your spirit still cries. Elohim Adonai, your spirit still cries. Even though you speak in tongues. Hey, Elohim Adonai, Elohim Adonai. Come on, exalt him. Come on, lift him high. Come on, exalt him. Come on, lift him high. Come on, exalt him. Come on, lift him high. Lift him high. Lift him higher. Hey, Ratai Kapa, Ekelia Tua. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Exalt him, exalt him, exalt him, exalt him. Hey, hey, exalt him, exalt him, exalt him. For he is the Lord. For he is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be praised. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is what you're created to do. This is what you are created to do. You are created to work. Ah, he said that he will raise up stones if you do not worship him. Hallelujah, Kataya. Hey, I am Kaya. Hey, Telia Kapoa. Hey, the the Kaya Kapaya. Holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord a Eketelia Tapa? Hey, Sheketi Ananta. Hey, hey. Ay ay ay, fakuri anamakasite. Eh, iya kapa pa kaka ta i kapa sua setele peke i kapa. Eh, come on, just pray in the heavenly language right now. Eh, shikata. If you have a heavenly language, just begin to pray. Eh, nebe kura kaka pa sute. Shikete i tura na 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 se. Eh, le pekora na 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 siya. Listen, one thing that I love about Apostle Shamil, he, he, he brought the culture of building capacity into the UK. He gave one amazing, amazing, amazing testimony that follows a lot of us that changed the dynamics of our walk with God. He gave language to Jude 120. And let me read that for you. He said, but you, beloved, building yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Now, this is called raw power of God. 
This is called raw power of God. Now, to be able to experience the power of God, you have to have the capacity to be able to experience it. See, listen. (laughs) Hey, Shanda Bakai Kapasu Indelia. There is so many things that God wants to deposit in you, but it's like your capacity is is like a small cup. It's more like a small glass. And you need capacity for God to say no, more of you. You're saying God more, but he's like, where's the capacity? Where is it? Where is it? I can't give it to you because you don't have the capacity. Now we are going to pray in our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost because Lord, I need capacity. I need capacity. I need capacity for the raw power of God. So we're going to pray in the Holy Ghost. We're going to pray in the tongues of angels. We're going to pray and we're going to say, Lord, give me capacity. I'm building my capacity in you. I can't hear you pray. I can't hear you pray. I can't hear you pray. Lord, tonight we are building capacity. Come on, feel it in your belly. It hurts as you begin to grow in capacity. Come on, you're praying like you're hungry. Come on. Shekelia kapai kopa. Etena tua. Ratai koko. Etelia katua. Holy Ghost. We're building capacity tonight. Shatai kupataliata. Holy Ghost. Kapapapata. We're building capacity. Come on. Come on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the raw power of God? For the raw power of God. Katai Kapa, Seke Tuma, Rakai Kapa, Seke Tuma, Eke Keke Tia, Sakai Kopo, Kate Kapa, Sakai Kapa, Neke Tuto, Katai Kapa, Kate Katoya, Sakai Kapa, Seke Kato, Sakai Kapa, Kato, Kato. Holy, holy, holy ghost. Holy, holy, holy ghost. Holy, holy, holy ghost. Holy, holy, holy ghost. Take a pass. Yeah. 
we're about to ascend in worship. Haley Akata, let your heart speak. Let your heart sing before your mouth does. Inekuta, because it's not unto me, it's not unto Emmanuel Smith, but it's unto God. Just lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, we exalt you, we magnify you. We give you glory, God, we exalt you. We say that there is none like you, O God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the I am that I am. Jesus. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be our Lord. I don't die from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Your name is to be alone. I Amanda never calls. Your name is to be hallowed. Somebody see ya. Come on. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. Come on, lift your voice. From the rising to the setting of the sun. We call your name Adonai. Let me hear the church. From the Come on, from the rising up, give it to the setting of the sun. Come on, come on, your name. Oh, one more time, can I see your right hand? From the rising. To the same, your name. Ah, just a drum. One more time. From the rising, he can turn to the Come on, push it. Before the music comes in, let's ascend. Come on. Oh, one more time from the rising up to the setting of the sun. Yeah. I do not. Yeah, 
first come. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. One more time. Ay, 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 ay. Come on. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. My help. Come on, one more time. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 Come on, sing it to him. My life, I will never. Oh, come on. Yeah. My life is changed. I will never. My life, come on, I will never. One more time. I would never be. I will never be the same. I would never be the same. I touch your grace. My life has changed. Now listen. Let this, let this not just be a song that we are, just take it down for me a little bit. Let this not just be a song that we're singing. Let it not be, oh, I love this song. But when we're singing that I will never be the same, then prepare for things to be cut off in your life. You know, I've, I've, I've done this thing for a little while and realized that it's not everything that happens after this that is the enemy that is attacking you. But I've come to realize that sometimes it's because of the songs we sing. It's because of the confessions and the declarations we make. 
Someone said, I prayed to God for strength. So he brought trials. So when we're saying that I will no longer, I will never be the same, I've touched your grace. I need you to know the kind of grace you want to touch tonight. The times when we'll come to church and scream and do all of these things and go back and still mess up, no longer. But we want to come into a place where we mean everything that we're saying before God. So I don't know about you, but before we even sing any other song, I need you to open up your mouth and begin to speak to God. Begin to speak to the Holy Spirit right now. Come on. Come on, somebody open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and begin to speak to him right now. Ira bandana makopelia, o masuta na makosha. Ira bandana makosha tani andana makosha. Ira babanda na makopelia na na makos. Raba babanda na makosa. Listen. Tonight, by the time we leave this place. You see, one thing I've come to realize about our generation is that some of you love to haya and haya and haba and haba when everyone is here. But do you do that when no one is around? Do we do that when no one's around, man of God? Do we have intimacy with him when no one is around? So I know that tonight we're going to go, and we know Apostle Shamil's ministry, we know that he goes into a depth and all of that, but before he, you know, he comes on or we switch into that zone tonight, I know that my generation loves the warfare and all of that, but I believe that God has called me into this generation to come into a place where you can be vulnerable before him. Where we can come and say, God... Because just a few weeks ago, I went on my knees and I said, God, I don't know what I'm doing. Because let's be real, some of you will come and lead us. Some of you will come and sing and still go back home and go and deal with some of the things you're going through. And I'm tired of us pretending. But when we come before God and say, you see, God cannot bless who you pretend to be. tonight if I do anything in this session let's take off the mask let's be real some of you you do all of these things because you see others doing it so in your eyes you feel like for you to get into his presence I have to do all of these things and God is saying you don't need to do all of that now I'm saying this because I just came from a five-day conference retreat called Spring Harvest. And if I may share, 90 or 95% of the people there are white. And I came out of that place asking myself, do we serve a different God? Because the way I saw them worship their God, and the way when we come and we do things, it's not the same. But I guarantee you, I felt the presence of God as I feel here. But when I was there, we were singing songs like, Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Where are those songs now? We all want to sound deep. When the Bible says, open the eyes of my heart, enlighten the eyes of my heart. And I'll say to a friend of mine, we have come to a generation where we focus so much on the enemy that we fail to see him. If, if people don't like me because of this, 
I'd rather point you to Jesus. Because from my Bible, as long as Peter's eyes was on Jesus, he was walking on that water. But the minute he took his eyes off him, that is when he began to sing. But tonight, can we be vulnerable before God? I just turned, I don't want to say my age, but I just celebrated my birthday just a few minutes ago. And, and listen, Apostle. And listen, don't worry, we'll go there, we'll go there. We'll go there. And listen, I don't know about you, but the older you get, you begin to realize that there is more to God. And when it comes to God, it's much simpler than how we make it. There is a deeper realm in God that when you get into, words can't even be uttered. There's a realm that when you get into, some of us, we've been fighting for too long when God is saying, just come and rest at my feet. And you know what? Like I said, I came from this conference where 95% of them were white people. And at least 70 of them, 70% of them were older generation people, people that have served God for over 30, 40 years. And you know what? When I went and I was singing songs like, Blessings and honor, glory and power, be unto the ancient of days. Where are those songs, man of God? From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of day. Because every tongue in heaven and earth. Can we go back to these songs that lifted up Jesus and we didn't hear any struggle in those songs? So like I said, I love our warfares, our songs and all of those things, but I miss Jesus. I just want him and nothing else. Some of us, we fought with the enemy so much and Jesus is saying, I have won the victory. Just walk in what I have already done. Can you imagine, just imagine this. When the devil is coming against you and you're singing songs like six. You called me out upon the waters The great unknown Where feet may fail And then things are coming your way <laughs> But there I find you with a mystery in oceans deep, my faith will stand. Cause I will call upon your name. I know things are trying to get my attention, uh, but I'll keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, my soul will rest. Can we sing it? Come on. I am you. you are my oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you will call, take me deeper. Come on, come on. Have my faith in the praise. Let me hear them. Say, Spirit, leave me. Come on, come on. Take me deeper. 
And my faith in the prayers. Come on, I feel him here one more time. Say, Spirit, lead me. La Paliana na Makosha. Let me walk wherever. Take me deeper. Can I see your right hand? That we sing songs like, Oh, 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 let me hear you say, Because I am, when you know your identity, when the enemy comes against you, I'm no longer as led to fear. Because I am. Apostle, when, when these people invited me for, take it out for a little, when they invited me for this conference, I didn't know they were going to use me like that. I was doing four sessions a day for five days. And at, at one point I said, God, am I going to have any voice left? And I prayed a simple prayer. I said, God, I need this voice to be able to be a blessing to your people. I'm talking about singing 18 sessions. And I'm here tonight. And, and I have made a vow and one of my prayers when it was my birthday, I didn't ask God for money. I didn't ask him for, yes, I know I want to get married. I didn't ask him for a wife. But what I asked him for, I said, God, teach me how to worship so that I can teach my generation. Great is your mercy towards me, your loving kindness towards me, your tender mercies I see day after day. Imagine singing songs like this to God again. Forever faithful towards me, always providing for me. Great is your mercy towards me, great is your grace. So I know we want to always go with today. Elohim, Adonai, we'll go there. But my duty, I can't be everyone else. I'm tired of us always trying to copy someone and always feel like that is what is spiritual. But there is still power in greatest your mercy towards Emmanuel. Your loving kind 
kindness towards me when you were in your mess your tender mercies I see oh Kalyan day after day forever faithful towards me always providing providing for me great is your mercy towards me great is your grace we give you all the glory we worship you come on you Come on, it's all about him. Oh, we give you all. We give you all. Come on, come on. We give you all. We worship. Come on, come on. Just hear the church with our hands lifted up. Can we give him all the glory tonight? Say, we give you, you. Ooh. We worship you. Ah. you.
Come on, can we do one more time? Say you alone. You. Come on, lift it up. See you alone. to give the Lord a great clap offering and give him a mighty shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If somebody is excited to be at raw power tonight, I want you to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on, somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you this evening. And uh, I want to give honor to whom honor is due. All the men and women of God, you are so welcome in this place. I salute you and honor you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I just want us to enter into just a short time of prayer. I just want you to begin to open up your mouth. And I believe that everyone that came here, you came with a certain expectation. And the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. I believe that as you came here tonight, that there is a deposit from heaven. There is something that is about to be poured out, something that is set ready for you tonight. I just need you to open up your spirit. I'm going to ask the musicians to help me. And I need you to lift your voice and open your spirit and ask the Spirit of God in whatever He has for you tonight that He will get you ready. Come on, just begin to open up your mouth. Father God, we thank you that we have gathered unto you this moment. We know that we have not come by our own strength, by our own wisdom. But you have called us into your presence for your sake. And no one comes into your presence unless you call them. And Father God, we thank you that this moment is written and is set on the agenda of heaven. We thank you, Almighty God, for the great and mighty things that you're about to do in this place. We reference and we honor you. We lift you and we exalt you. And we say, be Lord. Be Lord in this place. Be Lord. Be Lord in this place. Have your way up. Let your name be glorified, Spirit of the living God. We pray that you will come and take absolutely control. We come against any evil power and spirit that has set plans to interrupt and intercept what God has set for tonight. The blessing that you have for your people shall not be cut short tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray almighty. Let your glory descend. Let your presence descend in this place. We know, Almighty God, that heaven is ready. We know, Almighty God, that your angels are ready. We know, Almighty God, that you are ready to move. You are ready to touch. You are ready to heal. You are ready to deliver. You are ready to set free. You are ready to activate. You are ready to elevate. You are ready to restore. And we thank the Spirit of God for your spirit in us place. We thank the Almighty God. Oh, we thank you for your power tonight. We thank you for your power tonight. We 
I believe that we are very excited tonight. Without wasting too much time, I want to call to the front the visionary, the great man of God, the apostle. He's coming because he don't want me to. But let's honor him as we clap our hands. Amen. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Come on. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Listen to me. Before we proceed, I want you to tell your neighbor, God can weaponize anything. No, you have to say with power, say God can weaponize anything. Tell the person behind you, God can weaponize anything. If God could weaponize the footstep of four leprous men and made it sound like a thunder in the camp of the enemy, then I am here to say, if you release a shout in the atmosphere, whatsoever is in this territory, let it be broken. I say release a shout into the atmosphere. Listen to me everything we do under the anointing is prophetic everything we do under the anointing is prophetic god can weaponize everything there are powers in this territory that did not want us to gather this evening but god will weaponize somebody shout right now i thought i was talking to somebody i say god will weaponize listen to me the Bible say, 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 uh, you will trample upon serpent and scorpion. Uh, for everybody that is about to run over this building, let your hand be in the neck of your enemies. Uh, somebody shout and run. Uh, I say shout and run. Stop your feet. Uh, something is about to be broken in this territory. On, on top of the destinies of individuals, we have come to redeem the destiny of the United Kingdom. The anointing over this gathering is a territorial apostolic anointing. On top of individual destinies, United Kingdom has a destiny, London has a destiny, England has a destiny. We are here to recover back the destiny of the United Kingdom. As you are shouting, any dark cloud over this territory, let it be removed tonight. I said, let it be removed tonight. I thought you would shout louder than that. I thought you would shout louder than that. Whatever we are doing, we are bringing pressure in the dynamic of the spirits. We are not just shouting, we are releasing pressure in the spiritual dynamic. There are dark clouds over this continent, powers, principalities, rulers of darkness. But I see the Lord raising an apostolic and a prophetic people who have a trumpet in their mouth. We will redeem back Europe unto the Lord. I say we redeem back Europe unto the Lord. For the next 10 seconds, whosoever releases a shout into the atmosphere, let power return to Europe. Let power return to Europe. Come on, shout! I say shout! We, 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 we are almost there. Are you following me? Are you following me? We, we, we are almost there. Tell your neighbor it is prophetic. High five three people and say there is a prophetic anointing in this atmosphere. And I speak in tongues in the Holy Ghost and my spirit cries Elohim Adonai and I speak in tongues in the Holy Ghost and my spirit cries Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai Come on, give it for 
Jesus. Elohim, Adonai. Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai High five your neighbor and say there is power in this place Come on say there is power in this place Now listen to me Tonight you won't leave without your destiny being opened. I speak and I prophesy. You won't leave without your destiny being opened. Whatsoever was fighting you, let it scatter before you leave this place. It's like you don't want to be delivered. I say whatsoever was fighting you, let it scatter before you leave this place. I feel something shifting in this atmosphere. As you begin to speak for one minute in the Holy Ghost, 75 angels are descending in the building. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, I want to give you praise, honor, and glory. And I want to thank you for glory in this atmosphere. And he say, I saw a cloud small like the hand of a man rising out of the water. And even though it started small, it was producing the abundance of rain. Spirit of God, I want to thank you for your mighty presence in this house. Do what you have not done before. I pray for the wind. I pray for the fire. I pray for the glory. And I pray for the anointing. And now you devil. You wanted to make this atmosphere heavy. You wanted to bring resistance. I crush you. 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 Any territorial power. By apostolic rank and apostolic authority, I suspend you from operating until we are done with this meeting. Every witchcraft gathering that gathered in the territory, even in the dynamics of the spirit, I scatter it. 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 Let the ears of your people be open. Give us understanding. Give us eyes to see and hunger to receive the deeper things of the Spirit. We give you praise. Power and might belong unto you. In Jesus' name. Can you shout one more time and give God praise? Come on, can you do that one more time? The louder your shout, the bigger your blessing. 
The louder you shout, the bigger your testimony. Now, before you take your seat, I want you to tell three people something very strange will happen to your destiny tonight. Come on, prophesy to somebody's destiny. Say something very strange will happen to your destiny. As you remain on your feet, can you feel what I feel? Huh? Can you feel what I feel? Somebody shout power. Somebody shout power. As we proceed, we want to bring honor where honor is due, and then we want to receive the prophet of God. Amen. From my right, my son, Pastor Elect Walter Chawanda, let us honor the great man of God. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. All the way from the Netherlands, Prophet Chris Humble. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. You can do better than that. Honor Grace. Honor Grace. Honor Grace. All the way from France, we have the Lion of France in our midst. I call him the Wordsmith. A man that teaches as if he has written the Bible. Let us celebrate Grace Apostle Elisha Landu. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And we are so blessed. Minister Priscilla is here. The Lord bless you. Let us celebrate the servant of God. And you, you must love God if you serve God on your birthday. Today is a special day because we are celebrating a gift of God to this generation. Minister Emmanuel Smith. Come on, give it up for the man of God. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And I'm so happy my brother all the way from Florida is here. Last, last, last weekend, I ministered together with my wife in Florida. He is doing a tremendous work in America. Pastor, prophet, doctor, reverend, apostle, said, I'm over. Let us clap for my friend, my brother. Come on, let Europe receive the man of God. Clap and let us give God glory. Man of God, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. We want to bless God for one of the pillars of this country. Apostle Richard, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Celebrate grace. Celebrate grace. Celebrate grace. My my, my, my daughter all the way from Ghana, Pastor Nicolette, together with her husband, Stephen. God bless you. Stephen, Pastor Nicolette, the Lord bless you. Let us clap for them. Amen. And, and, and. All the way, I see the lion from Brussels has entered the atmosphere. Let us clap for Evangelist Nicholas Panangila, I guess the Minister Sophia all the way from belgium clap your hands and give god praise i i did not know he he texted me he said papa i'm in the car i'm driving all the way from holland to come and stand with you in the uk once again let's clap for my son and my daughter the lord bless you the lord bless you the lord bless you the lord bless you and my my, my people from liverpool god bless you so much let us clap for them god bless you so much um my my two friends i don't know your name but from today you are my friend is that okay from today we are friends let's clap for my friends god bless you god bless you god bless you and we we got evangelist doctor reverend emmanuel sanyeka with us man of god i love you so much amen we we have been in relationship for years and it's a man that my family and I have come to love so much and United Kingdom is yet to discover the gift of God upon your life once again let's bless God for one of the pillars of this nation Dr. Reverend Evangelist Emmanuel Sanjeka God bless you God bless you God bless you and 
we want to bless God. The truth of the matter, this was not possible without people who have had my back, such as Apostle Evangelist Tyrone Jr. Let us clap our hands for the great man of God. I, I am so proud of you. And I will defend you behind your back. I will fight your battles behind your back. I got you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And one of the voices the Lord is raising, which I know the Lord has given him a great apostolic and prophetic trumpet in his mouth. Such a great man of God. Minister Joseph, the Lord bless you so much. The Lord bless you. Oh, Stood with me all the way. Stood with me all the way until today. I just have to put my finger in the air and he's ready to serve. And we are so blessed by people like yourself. You, you, you can tell where one is going by their ability to serve. Let us clap for the great man of God. We... We are having, there is, there is too much grace in this house. Tell your neighbor there is grace in this house. No, 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 tell somebody there is grace in this house. Tell your neighbor, if you don't speak loud, I will take the wick away from your head. We have the giant of Northampton, Pastor Albert. So good to see you. God bless you. God. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. And I want you to give a special clap to all my people who came from Holland. Let us bless God for all of them. Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. God bless you. My, my, my daughter is working so hard behind the media, Dr. Claudia. Let's clap for my doctor. God bless you. God bless you. All right. All right. How many of you is ready for the... Ah. I, I, my, my spiritual mother is here. She taught me the things of God. I could not preach if it had not been for her grace. Before I came here, she prophesied to me. She's my mother, she's my wife, she's my friend, she's my intercessor. Let us bless God for my wife, prophetess Shannon Gazer. You can do better than that. Mama, we are grateful for your life. Amen, amen. Thank you, mommy, thank you, mommy, thank you, mommy. We are grateful for you, amen. How many of you is ready for the word? We are so blessed with gifts in this generation men of god and as much as we are men we are gifts the bible say and when he ascended he gave gifts unto men in as much as a man of god is a man he is a gift he is not just a gift to the body of christ he's a gift to my family to my wife to me to my church and he's one of my close brothers who I love so much, but I respect the grace of God upon his life. I don't know if I have to call him apostle, prophet, evangelist, but he's a man of God. A man sent from God. I will tell you like Jesus, whatever he tells you to do, do it. There is grace that the Lord has placed upon his life all over the world. And today in the United Kingdom, as we clap our hands, let us receive the ministry of Reverend Prophet Evangelist Shidi Ibenado. Clap your hands. Please celebrate my brother. Put your hands together for my brother. I didn't say clap for Jesus, I say clap for my brother. Clap for him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Take it down. Take it down. Praise God. God bless you, Ma. Those prayers were ferocious. 
um, tonight anything is possible. You were, you were introducing lots of pastors. I was asking your wife, is there a minister's conference? Because preaching in front of lots, so many pastors is a risk. It's a big risk. Please, all the men of God in the house, God bless you. Celebrate the men of God. Bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. My sister is in the house tonight. God bless you. Please, let's celebrate my sister. She's... She's Ghanaian, I'm Nigerian, but she's my sister. Amen. She's been my sister for years. Um, God, she's a pastor, she's a prophetess, she's a very dangerous prophetess. Very, very dangerous. I mean danger plus Ross put together. Amen. Thank you for all you do for me and my family. Please celebrate her for me again. God bless you. I want you to leave your seat. Go and shake 41 persons. Tell them tonight, God will bless me before you. Go and shake them. Just tell them, God will bless me before you. If you, are, if you are still in your seat now, you are wrong. You are wrong. Shake people. Now hold one person anywhere you are. Hold somebody. Just hold somebody. Hold somebody. Hold somebody where you are face to face. Now listen. Anywhere you are. No, hold just one person. Face the person. Just hold one person and face the person. Now listen. Listen. Face the person. Hold the person's hands. You're going to pray for that person you're holding. In Job chapter 42 verse 10, the Bible said, when Job prayed for his friends, God restored him. And God gave him twice as much as he had before. Now you're going to ask that person one thing that brought him here. Just one. You ask the person one thing he wants God to do for him. And you're going to pray for that thing that the person will tell you. Don't pray for yourself. Ask the person one thing he wants God to do for him. And pray with the person's name. Pray with the person's name. And open your mouth and begin to pray. Tell God to bring that desire to pass. Tell God to bring it to pass. Tell God to bring it to pass. Tell God to bring it to pass. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for that person. Pray with burden in your heart. Pray with body in your heart. Tell God to do it. Tell God to do it. Oh, shekentenia sabalahara. Yaninande dia koli alekeria papa natamani yateka baha. Revelene debe ila koshia hata. Tell God to do it for him. Tell God to do it for her. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Now look at me. You may think, stay where you are. You may think this is a joke. Man of God, one day I went to preach in a conference like this. And I told people, hold your neighbor. Pray for your neighbor's problem. And a lady held a man. He doesn't know the man from anywhere. The man doesn't know the lady. And when I say, tell the person what you want God to do for you, let the person pray. The lady said to the man, I've graduated for six years. I don't have a job. Tell God to give me a job. Little did he know that the man he was speaking to was a CEO of a big company. Now, when she told the man, 
The man, the, the lady said to the man, what do you want God to do? The man said, I will answer the prayer. I will answer the prayer. That was how after the church event, by Monday, she got a job. Some spiritual things are deep. You're going to pray for three people. Leave the person you just prayed for. Go and hold someone else. Go and hold someone else. Hold somebody else. Hold somebody. Hold somebody else. You're going to pray for that person. One thing he wants God to do for him or her. Just one thing. Just one. Ask the person. Just one thing. Just one thing. Just one. Only one. Only one. mighty name we have prayed now listen locate your farthest neighbor what did I say farthest you know sometimes look at me sir sometimes Satan takes something that should be very close to you Satan takes it very far locate your farthest neighbor hold the person Hold somebody. Let Shada Bahaya. Are you holding somebody? Close your eyes. And pray for that person. Just ask the person one thing he wants God to do. And pray. Please be sincere with your prayers. Be very sincere. Ask him one thing he wants God to do. And be very sincere with the prayer. Lera da la bari bre de gala bre de bo sombre de kati. Me kolobo shade bende. Le parasi la dabara. Let the prayer come from your heart. Let it come from your heart. Let it come from your spirit. God will answer. Something will happen. Lift up your hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just lift your two hands towards heaven.
Male da Bahati Ars. Ali Rada Basso de Bahaya. sing to him.
Is he your desire? Is he are you sure he's your desire? Are you sure he's your desire? Tell him he alone is your desire tonight. Lift your voice and say that to him. You oh, are came true for me I had no essence I had no meaning Lord you showed up for me what did I do to deserve this kind of love what did I do to sit at your right hand what did I do to deserve this kind of love oh i'm amazed you showed up for me oh benigwe every disease in this house tonight in the name of he who died and never remained in the grief let every disease become history in your body in the mighty name of Jesus I'm seeing I'm seeing two ladies you have serious issues with your menstrual cycle it's been a big problem to you you've gone to hospitals they couldn't correct what should be corrected tonight something is changing in your system I saw someone who has been scheduled for a fibroid operation. The Lord said, when you get home this morning at 6 a.m., you will sit on the chair in your house and you will doze off. Two angels will come right there where you are sitting. They will open up your stomach and they will bring out what should be brought out. And he said, your miracle will take place. Thank you, Lord. Man of God, I don't know you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a gathering between June and July. This is something that has not started at all. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a plan. This, is, this plan has been on. You've been asking God, should I start or should I not start? Should I start? Should I? You've been confused. But now you have direction. So, but I'm hearing June, July in the realm of the Spirit. Is that why you want to start your church? Officially. Official launch of your church. But I saw, I saw, I saw a tragedy that happened before then. I saw an event in the realm of the spirit. I saw Satan doesn't want this thing to start because he knows that once you start, you will overtake people that have been there for six years. People that have been there for ten years. There is a grace on your foot. It's called speed. Now, Satan is afraid of this. So, I saw you inside a vehicle. And this car is white in color. This is like a Tesla. A Tesla. In the realm of the spirit. I saw you inside. And I saw a collision. And that collision affected both legs. 
And God said to me, now this is not the first time this message is coming. Eh? The Lord said to me, he said, I want to prevent what is sent from your place. The man sending it is cooking it in the bush. But it will happen to two of his children. It's not your portion. It's not the will of God for you. Anybody planning any eventuality against your life. Tonight, I return it back to sender. I said tonight, I return it back to sender. Lift your voice and shout at amen like thunder. Father, we decree that this plan we hold you will not be in the hospital by June. In the name of Jesus, how do you know that this is from God? There is going to be an event. Something will happen. There will be a near accident scene. That is God showing you that this is what they have planned, but it will not take place. In the name of Jesus, when you start, I release Nigerians. I release Zimbabwe's. Where is he from? Zimbabwe. Ah. Elemanakazi Agabale Shatabaratia. Why are you both kneeling down? Are you his his uh, 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 his disciples? Yeah. Are, are you Nigerian? Stand up. Come this way. Four generations in your family, four generations ago, there's a pattern. That pattern has been there for four generations. From the fourth man to the third man to the second man to your father. This is growth. You grow. But whenever you get to the peak that you should stabilize, you begin to go down. Is a law in that home. Is a law. It's been there for four generations. But God told me, He said, What will crush that law in your father's house is service. It's not prayer, it's not fasting, it's service. God says, Serve. He said, As you serve, you will serve yourself out of mediocrity. God in the realm of the spirit God said to me this is one of the people you can give an assignment and you go and sleep you can trust him with money he will bring back one cent to you that is who he is he doesn't take what does not belong to him but God said don't change he says serve what stopped your fourth grandfather stopped your third grandfather stopped your second grandfather Adia Barasi Atahaya. Reshada Bahaya. There's a lady that was flying flag here when they were singing. There's a lady. Are you the person? Please come. I saw you in New York. Come this way. In the realm of the spirit, when you were flying the flag, I saw you. I was just hearing Diana. I was just hearing Diana. Is that your name? Can I talk to you? God said to me, He said, What I will do to you, it will radiate. Why am I using the language radiate? I just said, I just said, What He wants to do with you will radiate everywhere. And God said, That, that statement. Is, is connected to you. Eh? You said what? My dance company is called Radiance Dance Company. You have a company? A dance company? What's the name? Radiance Dance Company. Radiance? Yes, sir. Okay. I saw you in New York. And I saw you in the television. Man of God. I saw a prize. I saw a competition. 
I saw you win. I saw money in millions of dollars. Uriamia teku leke para hayasia. Veleke de bandiaso. Look at me. When I tell you you will be rich, don't think about it twice. Don't think about it twice. My friends call me the Minister of Finance. When I tell you you'll be rich, I became a millionaire at 17. It's not million naira, million dollar at 17. So when I say you'll be rich, don't think about it twice. Your size does not matter. You know the young, hold on, you know the young man who despised you? Eh? Aliyah Teaka. Omenekishia. When this thing will happen, he will come back to beg. But you will not accept him because better people will be there. You're too faithful to fail me. Do, do you know the song? Okay. Listen. I bring a covering over you. It is only God that leads the step of a man. It's, there is no man who directs a man. It is God who directs. He's going to order your steps into this competition I see. And he will lead you from the beginning to the finals. And the day you will win. Those who never believed in God, your victory. God said, I'm giving you victory to draw souls to myself. Because your victory will bring salvation to a lot of people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lift your hands. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful. Can I preach a little? Hallelujah. In the next few minutes, everybody looking for grace, grace will fall upon you. Father, those that will shout an amen louder than their neighbor, let grace fall upon them now. Let grace fall upon them now. Let grace fall upon them now. Lift up those hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That lady at the back, the lady, the tall lady, yes, come, yes, come to me. Come to me. Have you seen me before? Eh? Are you sure? You don't, you've not seen me. Do you know anybody that knows anybody that knows me? Eh? Talk now. I don't know you. I don't know anybody. You don't know me anywhere. You don't know anybody no. that knows anybody no. that knows me. No. Can I talk to you? Yes, please. Inside this auditorium, you have someone who is connected to you, family. The person is your cousin. Go and bring the person. This lady has been afflicted by the devil. This affliction has made your family cry. You know when your affliction has become a family project? That everybody, when they kneel down, that's what they pray about. Do you know her? Your deliverance is now. Yeah. 
Lift up your hands, everyone. Stretch your hands towards her and declare, let her deliverance manifest. Open your mouth and declare, every demon that has oppressed this lady, her deliverance now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Bring her up. I saw I saw a woman from your place. This woman entered you. This woman is bigger than you. She's very fat. You know when something bigger than you enters you, it becomes a weight. And you can't move. You are static. You can't do anything. Sometimes your, 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 your mind leaves you. And I saw an altar. In that altar, two pictures were there. They took one. They took Joaquin's picture. What's her name? Jackie. Eh? Jackie. Jackie. They took Jackie's picture and put under another picture and covered her. And they said she will never see light. Man of God, this affliction looks simple but it's deep. Sometimes she considers suicide. But God said, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Wherever it's coming from, tonight, it is returning back to sender. Back to sender. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus, anything that entered you, tonight, leave your body. Leave your body. Be free. Thank you, Lord. Likatabasaya tahasha. Shedebele de gabratia. Put your right hand where you feel a sickness now. Something is happening. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Growths are disappearing. Everything that is not of the Lord in your body. Put your hand there. Just lay your hand there. Lay your hand there and pray in the Holy Ghost. Something is happening. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Lay your hand there. Lay your hand there. Anywhere you feel something you don't like, put your hand there and let the power of God take care of it now. 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 Oshania manakolata efeziza pala rakwa teke nekopada ya hasa meshila bahaya shiata lekana manahaya leti asia kete. Rasule pralentalia keria tenda ayana manda darosi kateta haya. Let there be healing, spirit of the living God. When you arrive, every visitor backs up. Anything that has visited your body that is not of the Lord. Right now, I discharge you. Pack your feet and get out of that life. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you couldn't do before. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive grace to do it. Every pain vanish. Every pain go. There's someone you have a very severe pain in your on your shoulder. 
and is a problem to you, let that pain leave. Let it go. Every part of your body, there is pain. In Jesus' name, vanish now. I release miracles. 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 Eye problems. Get out. Ear issues. Get out. I'm seeing someone, you find it difficult to breathe. You have like an ulcer issue. It's, 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 it's coming up to your heart. It, 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 it was paining you before you came. Right now, let the power of God take care of that situation. You are healed forever. Every cancer, go. Go now. Go now. Go now. Let that be miracles. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Celebrate Jesus and put your hands together for him. Hallelujah. Whatever you couldn't do, anything you couldn't do, check yourself. You're healed right now. You're healed right now. You're healed right now. You're healed right now. Check it. It's no more there. It's gone. Find out. Find out. Find out. The devil cannot win find out it's gone it's no longer in your body it is gone it is not gone for the meantime it is gone permanently never to return again thank you jesus second samuel chapter 21 i'll show you something and then i begin to pray i'm going to be brief tonight blessed are those that preach short messages for they shall be invited again Ooh. Second Samuel 21. Can we have it on the screen? Is it possible? 21 15. 21 verse 15. 21 verse 15. Let's read together. No, put King James. Remove that new. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, let's read together. Everybody want to go. Moreover, the Philistine had yet war again with Israel, and David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines, and David waxed faint. The next verse. And Ishbibben, of which was of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear weighed 300 shekels in brass, of brass in weight, yes? He, being guarded with a new sword, thought to have slain. David, the next verse, but Abishai, the son of Zurua, succored him and smoothed the Philistine and killed him. And the men of David swore unto David, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. 75 of you, if you shout an amen, your light will never go off. Father, wherever you find an amen, preserve their light. 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 Hey, hey! Preserve their light. Listen. Listen, sir. The battle is against your light. The battle is not against your face. It's not against your color. Is against what? Your light. I prophesy. Lord, preserve the light of everyone here today. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said now. There was battle again. Take it down a little. With the Philistines. Now. Put verse 15. Now. There was battle again with the Philistines. Now, there was battle again. Anytime you hear battle again, it means there was battle before. So tonight, my first primary assignment is to end repeated battles in your father's house. Now, there was battle again. Yandwalia Kapana. 
Ishini ya kila hasia. Have you seen a situation where you thought you have fought cancer and they told you you are cancer free? You celebrate, you testify. Six months later, it comes back again. There are powers that return battles. Oya kuatela, amane akushi na mayahata, iramande la barahaya. Now there was battle again. There are families that are under the sound of my voice. What you are going through is a product of repeated battles. Sometimes the battles you are fighting didn't start in your generation. You just grew up to see yourself in the midst of a battle that is older than you. How do you conquer such battles? Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? The Lord said I should tell you anything that conquered your father, conquered your mother, conquered your grandfather. If I hear an amen from your mouth, you will conquer it. You will conquer it. I say you will conquer it. Your children will not fight that battle. Your children will not fight that battle. In your generation, it is over. In your generation, it is over. Lift your hand and shout fire. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Repeated battles. We are gonna tire. Such battles, sir. They don't go to sleep. They don't go to sleep. They wait for appointed time. When it is time, they rise again. They don't go to sleep. When it is that some people, their own is delayed. In their family, people are delayed. No matter how you try to be fast, you are delayed. Some people, there is this sickness. That explains why when you enter a hospital to get tested, the doctor will ask you, can I know your family history? You know why? Even science knows that diseases repeat. Science. Science is aware that diseases can repeat. Mind how you eat sugar. There is diabetes in our family. That's a repeated battle. Can I prophesy? What you were not there when it started. From today, you are no longer a victim. You didn't hear what I just said. I said you are no longer a victim. Somebody said, Lord, deliver me. From repeated battles. Say, Lord, deliver me from repeated battles. Say, Lord, what I don't know shall not know me again. Sir, most of us here are from Africa. In Africa, we don't inherit properties. We inherit curses. Curses don't know where is UK. Curses travel with a visa. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Listen to me. In the name of he that died and resurrected, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, anything negative your fathers passed on to you, in tonight you are dropping it on this altar. God told me, He said, What you don't know will never know you again. There 
are battles that repeat. I entered the Abrahamic family and I saw Abraham lie against about the wife. They asked him, who is this? He says, my sister. When he was lying, Isaac was not born. In fact, when he was lying, his name was still Abraham, not Abraham. His name later changed to Abraham. Change of name does not change battles. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It doesn't change battles. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. I believe. All things have become new. Yes, but you still have your father's son name. That scripture doesn't mean you will not fight for many battles. It's a lie. That scripture means you are now standing on a better ground to conquer the battle. That's the meaning of that scripture. Isaac was born years later. Isaac came to the same place. They asked Isaac, who is this? Isaac said, it's my sister. Isaac had twins. Esau and Jacob. Jacob was not just a liar. He was a Yahoo Yahoo boy. Isaac said to Jacob, who are you? He said, my name is Esau. That was a lie. He lied to take the, the brother's blessing. When he grew, he had 12 children. One day, 10 of them went out. When they went out, they sold their brother, took the clothes of their brother, killed an animal, poured blood, came back and lied to their father. And, oh yeah, can you? 10 of them, they were corporate liars. It's a family matter. Is a battle that repeats. There are people who are born again here, but promiscuity is in their family. Family, you are born again. You love God so much, but you don't know what pushes you to sleep around. Your father was sleeping, and your mother is a family thing. You speak in tongues tomorrow. You open your leg. Is a is a battle you try to is You try to conquer. Is diff- a pastor said to me, I watched my father beat my mom. I heard that my grandfather was beating my grandmother. He said, sir, I have fasted 40 days that I will not lay hand on my wife. The day I closed the fasting, I slapped my wife. Amen. Now, there was battle again. When a battle finishes, it should close. Every door battle comes back from. Today, I shut that door. I didn't hear your amen. I said, I shut that door. In the realm of the spirit, I shut that door. Somebody say, Lord, what I don't know shall not know me. Can I shock you? Can I shock you? Even if your father is a pastor, if there's a battle in your father's house, if your father didn't fight it, you will inherit it. Second Kings chapter 4. Can I shock you? As the assistant of Elisha, he borrowed money and died. In fact, when the wife was talking to Elisha, Elisha said, thy servant, my husband. He didn't say my husband, thy servant. He said, thy servant, my husband. And she said again, thou knowest that thy servant, he didn't call husband again. Because when he was alive, he was more with Elisha than the wife. He said, he's dead. But the creditor has come to take my two sons. The sons were not there when their prophet father borrowed money. But they grew to face a debt they didn't bring upon themselves. Am I communicating? Give me your right hand. I see tears in the eyes of few people. Listen, God said to me, that thing that has overwhelmed you, 
you know that this is a family thing. As I'm speaking now, you're looking into your father's house. You are seeing your elder brother misbehaving. You're seeing your sister misbehaving. You have looked at your cousins. There are people misbehaving in your father's house. It's like a family pattern. Today, I prophesy, your deliverance has arrived. Your deliverance has arrived. Your deliverance has arrived. What battle was the first battle? When the Bible said, now there was battle again with the Philistines. Now, the battle again, there was a battle before. The battle before was the battle between David and Goliath. That was the first battle. Am I communicating here? Every one of us know about the battle. The Bible said, one day, a man called Goliath came to King Saul. And he said to Saul, bring me a man that will fight with me. If I kill him, you people will serve us. If he kills me, we will serve you. And Saul agreed. Why will you agree when you know you don't have a man? If you want to lose the battle of your destiny, allow your enemy set the rule for the battle. From Genesis till that place they fought the battle. There was never a place a man fought for a nation. It was always army against army. How can an enemy bring a suggestion and you agree? That is how to lose the battle of destiny. He said that we bring... Goliath was waiting. One day, two days, he was in the valley shouting, Who is the man from Israel? Nobody came. He was shouting, The God of Israel is impotent. Nobody replied. 20 days, he was shouting, The God of Israel is a madman. Nobody could talk. 30 days, he was shouting, The God of Israel is a fool. Nobody could reply. 40 good days, sir. Goliath was cursing the God of Israel, and nobody could talk. There is a generation that is about to rise. Oh my God. Man of God. You see what God is going The revival coming in Europe, in UK. God is breeding a generation. A generation that will not keep quiet anymore. A generation that will not accept what their brothers have accepted. A generation that will be uncomfortable with abnormality. There is a generation. Somebody say, I am one of them. The generation, the generation of David, he was not an old man, he was a youth like me and you. So, we are the generation coming up 40 days later. A small boy like us left Oyakwata, left the bush, and he came to bring food to his brethren. Eliab, when he heard the voice of Goliath, he became uncomfortable. And he began to ask his brother, are you not hearing what I'm hearing? The brother replied, I'm used to the voice. He said, I can never recite what he's saying. He has been saying it for 40 days, so I've mastered his language. He said to the brother, sir, I want to go and fight this guy. The brother looked at him. He asked him a question. Who did you leave our father's sheep for in the bush? You bush boy, get back to the bush. The brother called him a boy. He left his brother. When he went to King Saul, I was thinking he will ask Saul, ask Saul, what shall be given to the boy? He said to Saul, what shall be given to the man? So I am not the opinion of my brothers. I am not the opinion of my enemy. What you are is what you see yourself. Don't become what people call you. Don't buy their opinion. There is a you in you that makes you the you you are. Until it manifests, you cannot take over. Rule number one. If you must impact your generation, depart from anyone that tells you you cannot. Whenever someone says you can't, just shift. Change, change that company. Detach. Detach. When they say you cannot, lift your right hand. Say, I will. I will. Say, I can. I can. Say, I must. I must. He left. He said, what shall be done to the man? Saul so said, any man that kills this guy, I will give him half of my kingdom. He said, eh? 
I will do this. Uh -huh. And he said, you see that my daughter, Micah, when David had Micah, he said, bring it on. He said, I will give him Micah. David said, I will fight. I will fight. He said, you fight. Are you a trained soldier? He said, no. I'm a bushman. Goliath said, um, Saul said to him, the man you are trying to fight, let me give you his curricul curriculum vitae. This man, number one, is not a total human being. He is half spirit, half human being. David said, I don't understand. He said, he's a product of angels and human. When angels came on earth, they slept with the sons of men. And they gave birth to giants. So he's a product of spirit and human. David said, are you serious? He said, that's number one. He said, number two, the man you are trying to fight. He has never lost a battle all his life. David said, are you serious? He said, number three, you're a boy. You don't understand. His hands are, his legs are covered. His hands are covered. They are not six. They are not five. They are 24 instead of 20. He said, David, my son, with these few points of mind, I am sure I've convinced you that fighting this battle is a no-no. Please go back to where you're coming from. David was about to leave. He turned to Saul. And he said to Saul, before I leave, can I give you my own curriculum vitae? He said, what CV do you have? He said, the other day in the bush, a lion came after my sheep. And when the lion came after my sheep, he said, something entered me. He said, when that thing entered me, I ran after the lion. I fought with the lion. I opened the mouth of the lion and I brought out my sheep alive, not dead. David said, Saul said, are you serious? He said, that was my BSc. I had masters. He said, I had masters. He said, yes. He said, another day, a bear came. When the bear came, the same thing that entered me on the day of the lion entered me on the day of the bear. I ran after the bear. I opened the mouth of the bear and I brought out my sheep alive, not dead. He said, as I heard the voice of this man, that thing where they do me, he don't they do me. Can I prophesy? Holy Ghost go do you. I say, Holy Ghost go do you. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, do me. When Saul heard that the thing that helped him on the door of the lion and the door of the bear is also on him, Saul said, Before you fight, hold on, my son. He went inside, he brought his garments. He brought his apparel from head to toe, his knife, his shield, his belt. Why? So that if that thing assists David to conquer Goliath, people will not give God glory. They will say it is the garment of Saul, the sword of Saul. Saul didn't know that when God, that God is omniscience, he knew that a day will come when he will want to collect his glory. So what did God do? God made Saul very tall. And make David very short so that the cloth of Saul cannot size David. So when Saul brought the cloth, he took it. Emoji. Look at what happened. He took the cloth. He put his leg in the trouser. His leg had finished. The trouser is still there. He put his leg on the other trouser. The leg had also finished. The trouser is there. If it was me, I will just remove it. But David did not remove until he wore everything. It was not his size. He knew he was not going to fight with it. But he has been anointed for years. And he has still been in the bush. So he had a title without a mantle. So he was waiting for a day when he will carry the mantle of Saul. That was the day Saul transferred kingship. But he didn't know what David was doing. He never knew. He never knew. Oyamaniya konama shabalataya, ebariya kombrelete ya. 
Am I am I am I preaching to someone here? That was the day he transferred kingship. So David wore everything, took the belt, tied tied the belt. It went seven times. When he finished dressing up, he looked like a king. He now looked at Saul. He said, "Sir, don't be offended." With all due respect, he began to remove. He said, the weapons of my warfare, they are not carnal. But they are mighty to pull down the strongholds of the enemy. We are kute. He took off everything. And he said, don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. He went to the bank of the river. He saw five stones in the water. And he took the five stones. Why are you taking five stones, Oga? You don't need five stones to kill this man. What you need is one. So why are you picking five? David was aware that battles repeat. He was aware. So he took five stones. Because by revelation, he knew that the man he's about to kill has four sons. And when you kill the man, the four sons will rise later to finish a battle their father could not fight. So he took five stones, used one for the father, and reserved four for the four sons that will rise later. Scratch your head, sir, here. He took it. So I was looking at him. See, when battles want to repeat, they will repeat. Prepare for it ahead of time. David, do you know why David, do you know why? David cut off the head of Goliath to end the battle, yet he repeated. Uh, am I communicating? When he took it, he was coming from behind. Goliath was still shouting, God of Israel is dead. God of Israel is this. And he had the voice of a small boy that came from behind. And the boy shouted. Sorry, he's anointed. The boy shouted. The boy said, he was, he was shouting. A boy came from behind and said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Goliath turned and saw a rat talking. Listen, the battle of David and Goliath could not start until somebody spoke something. Hit your neighbor, say, open your mouth. Raw power does not work on closed mouths. Something will come upon you tonight. When it comes upon you, your mouth must be open. Anybody you kill will die. Anybody you bless will be blessed. Somebody say, Lord, give me a trance. Mouth of David. David said, who is this? As soon as Goliath had the voice of a man, he knew that battle has started. Your battle cannot start until your mouth opens. God does not respond to tears. God is not emotional. Let me repeat myself. God does not respond to tears. God is not emotional. Blood does not run in his veins. He respects words of the mouth. He said, as you speak into my ears, it is as you cry. Jesus was sleeping. And they were crying, Kiara is not that we perish. Are you mad? Talk, my friend. You know they move him. What moves him is your words. Your words. Whatever you want to see, start saying it. And God said, let there be light. And God said, and God said, later, the Bible said, and God saw that all he created, we are good. So when you start saying, you will soon start seeing. Amen. Say it until you see it. I told a lady, a lady was looking for the fruit of the womb. 
she was in my church. I prayed for her, I prayed for her, I prayed for her, I know they work. I prayed, I fasted, it was not working. I called her one and said, Madam, your problem is bigger than my anointing. Leave the church. <laughs> I said, how can your case be embarrassing me? People share testimonies every day in this church. And they know you are a committed member. You know I'm born. Try another church, ma. She said, are you rejecting me? I said, your, your case is insulting my grace. While I was speaking to her, the Lord said to me, tell her to speak. I said, what's the name of your first child? She said, I don't know. I said, you're not even serious. I said, call your husband. He called the husband on the phone. I said, what do you want to call your first child? The husband said, I don't want first child. I want twins. I said, what's their name? He said, Paul and Silas. That's what the man said on the phone. I said, okay. I said, madam, if you get home, every morning if you wake up and you wake your husband, wake Paul and Silas. Wake them up. Paul, wake up. Silas, wake up. When you are eating, bring two small plates. Put for your husband and yourself. Put food for Paul and Silas. Keep it on the dining. Tell them to eat. I said, keep talking those things that we are not. As though they are. She started talking. Two months she took in. And Paul and Silas came. Touch your neighbor, say, open your mouth, open your mouth. Say, open your mouth, open your mouth. Oh my God, are you sitting down? Stand up and say, open your mouth, open your mouth. Sir, when you open your mouth, mind what you say. Do you know what, man of God, do you know what kills Goliath? His mouth. As soon as he saw David, you know the first thing Goliath said? He said to David, am I a dog that you come against me with catapult and stone? As soon as he asked David, am I a dog? He reduced himself from a giant to a dog. Why was it easy for David to kill him? David had killed a lion. He had killed a bear. So a dog is not a prayer point. He was not fighting a giant. He was fighting a dog. Apostle. He was fighting what? He was fighting what? He was fighting what? If you kill a lion and kill a bear, is a dog a matter? That was why one stone took him down because he was a dog. How did he become a dog? By his own mouth. Never you say that my stomach ache is back. If you say that mine, it becomes yours. That my headache is come again. It becomes, don't be negative. Even when you are joking, mind what you say. Your mouth is powerful. Very powerful. Very powerful. The reason believers die in, motor, in, in car crash is because they know Psalm 91 verse 1. They don't know verse 2. That's why believers die in crash. December 18th, last year, I was a victim of plane crash. I don't know how many of you that my sister is there, you know. I was, it was all over the internet. I went to Congo. The senior president of Congo invited me to come pray for him because of the election on 20th. So I got to Kinshasa. He, he chartered the jet to fly me to his place. Holy Akabahaya. If I play the video here, you start crying. From there, we were... I, I was just seeing water down. I just kept saying, I know I'm not dying now. I was building a church. I built God the most beautiful church in my city. He, he was there in February, in, in February, right? He was there in February 25th for my church dedication. Fantastic church. I built it single-handedly. I spent over 800,000 pounds. I built it single. I, God told me, build me a church. It was just later, at the later that few people did few things and that they did. I have two of my daughters that are here. They are from my church, but they are, they are twins, these two people here. 
Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. When the craft was going down, I just I kept saying, I will be there for the dedication of my church. I will be there for the dedication of my church. I will be there. I bought the land. I was building a massive, I took him to my hotel. He screamed when he came to Nigeria. My hotel is the biggest in my city. It was, it's, um, it's, it's almost 100 rooms. Big. I finished building. I had roofed. Uh, they were doing, they were doing um, electric, el 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 electric house. I went to China to buy my, my fittings and my furnishing. The day I landed Guangzhou, in the night I was sleeping, three angels came and they were dragging me. This one was dragging me this way. This one was dragging me. They wanted to tear me into two. What did I do? How can you be building things if you've not built me a church? I woke up and was scared. That was how I canceled. I had already paid the company that, were, that was producing because I wanted to customize everything. The AC, the tiles. It was, it was supposed to have the hotel name and everything. I left. The, I woke up scared. I called the company. There's an emergency. I'm leaving for Nigeria. I didn't buy anything again. I left to Nigeria the next day. Bought the land and started the church. So when the crash was happening, I was saying, God, I will be alive for that dedication. So how we left the water, because we were to land inside water. How we left that, I didn't know. We just saw ourselves land crashed in the bush. The pictures were, I don't, where's my phone? Where's my other phone? We was, I don't even know if it, it was, it was bad, sir. It was bad. I, I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> Man of God. This was the incident. This was the incident. See me in the bush. See my plane. This was, this was the, the, uh, the, um, the aviation fuel was, was poor. See, see aviation fuel was leaking. See my plane. See, I don't know if you can see. In the bush, he didn't catch fire. Listen, that's not the testimony. The testimony, the testimony is that we 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 slept there. We slept in the bush that night because we did. There was no way to bring it out. So it was in the morning. They brought a tractor that dragged it out of the bush. The the pilot checked it that one of the engine had failed. Something broke in the tire. He loosed it and put back in the plane. There was no way we could leave that place because if you want to live there, it's the interior part of Congo. You have to go through water and you'll be on water for three days. So the man checked it, started the egg, and now how do you, there was no wrong way. How do you fly? So they had to drag the plane back. The villagers had to clear the bush for us to have a place to run. We got back into the same plane and flew three hours to Kinshasa. Yes. When we are entering, two people that we were five in the plane, we we're only three that entered back. Two people said, anyhow, they will turn villagers. <laughs> For 24 hours, my wife didn't hear from me. She was panicking. She was scared. She was calling everybody. I got into the plane. I knew the covenant I had. I just kept speaking. I just kept speaking. I just kept speaking. Look at your neighbor and say, open your mouth, open your mouth. I can't hear you say, open your mouth. I'm going to give you two minutes to say something now. Oh my God, if you are sitting down, I will give you two minutes. You are going to just don't pray, just say something. Say something, say something. Call forth something now, call it forth. As you say it, it will happen. Call it forth now. Obelenendia, urakuka palia, eventi kape, ezili niete, igagatale, roko, ayagapabara, avante kapatiale, isabana namanayaka. In Jesus' name, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. If someone tells you you will not make it, don't close your mouth. Reply the person. When it has to do with your destiny, age is inconsequential. Whether they are older than you, reply, return it back to them. Don't let negative word land on your head. 
Don't. One day, I entered my church. I saw my daughter lying down on the altar, crying and praying. I look. I said, no be in Kechi be this. They say, eh, na Kechi. I say, ha, in Kechi they pray for altar. I know in Kechi now. In Kechi, no, even when you they pray for church, Kechi they chew gum. She's a, she's a fine girl. So she no say she fine. No say girl girls way fine. We no say they fine. You understand? So if she, they, 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 she behaves less concerned. She likes church. But she behaves less concerned. So she was free. I just left her. I went to the office. I went to read a book. I read the book for four hours. And when I was done reading, I was leaving the, my office. I was passing through the church. I still saw her on the altar after four hours. I said, this must be serious. I went to the altar. I woke her. I said, Kechi, she stood up, tears in her eyes. I said, you did cry, join. What happened? He said, that burial we went for in my village. I said, yes. He said, they had the problem with my auntie. And she said to me, over my dead body, will you marry? I said, what did you tell her? She said, I said, auntie, I didn't, tell, I didn't do you anything. No. I didn't do you anything. No. How can you tell me this kind of nonsense? I didn't do you anything. No. So she, when she left, she declared seven days fasting to cancel what the auntie said. I told her, I said, See, my daughter, this fasting is medicine after death. You know, go walk. It will only work if you were not there when they said what they said. But because it was said in your presence, what you should have done was to return it back. She said, really? I said, yes. I said, where's your village? She said, in Berry. I took 15,000. I gave her. Naira, not dollar. <laughs> Naira don't give value. No worry. He doesn't have value. I gave her. I said, go to your village. So said, what am I going to do? I said, go and talk to your auntie. She said, what will I tell my auntie? I didn't know what I was saying. I just told her, when you get back, see your, I'm married to your auntie. Tell her, the day I will marry here, you wash plates for me. <laughs> That's what I said. So, I, I, when I said that, I just said, go, 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 go ahead, go. Quickly, go. She said, okay, sir. She left. According to her, she said, when she got home that evening, that when she, anytime she sees the auntie, she wants to go and tell the auntie the thing, that people will come out, she will not pretend, and she will leave it. She said, early morning, she saw the auntie sweeping. She came and said, auntie, that thing you told me that day, see, the day I will marry in this family, you wash plate for me. She said, when she said that, she ran away, so the auntie will not say another one. <laughs> so she ran away. My next fire night. So after that incident, she joined the usher, ushers, the usher department, to work for God. So my, one of my fire nights, I was preaching. She was just doing her job. When I was done preaching, one of my sons who lives in America sent me screenshots. She was, the guy was watching from the U.S. and saw her doing usher. Us, us. Screenshotted her. Who wants to marry here? Who wants to marry here? Six months from today, let your husband locate you. Hey! Apostle Elisha, something is happening here. Elisha! Something is happening here. <laughs> Take your husbands. You will not marry stupid men. You will marry handsome men. Men that are rich. People that will take care of you. You will go for holiday in Miami. Eh? Huh? His wife. Okay, you need a wife. Anybody you like, just tell me. Tell me, I'll make it very easy. I will tell them God has said, don't worry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Emoji, you blessed me in Ghana. I was in IS. Yeah, yeah, I was in IS. You blessed me. You blessed me. I was in IS. I was in IS for, two, for the first two days and then I left. Why are you shouting? Pastor Brian, oh, yeah, shut up, I'm the one preaching. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My son sent me the pictures and said to me, Papa, I saw this girl while I was preaching, and why, while you were preaching, and I think I like her. Papa, how is she? I started, ah, this girl, she's so good. I said, she's a wife material, 70 yards. She's this, she's that. I started hyping the girl. 
My son said, are you serious? I said, yes. I said, ah, feel free. I said, do you need her number? I said, yes. I said, okay. Before I gave the number, I called Nkechi. I said, NK, I will give one big boy your number in America. Don't ask him for anything. Just pretend like you have everything. Pretend like you are very okay. Just be very good. He's rich. He's one of my good sons. You didn't hear me? I've told him that you are this and that. Even if you are not, that is what you are. In Jesus' name, she said amen. I send the number to my son. Most times we give prophecy, we also work it out and it comes to pass. And they started talking. Two months, the guy was to come back to open up his hospital that he was building in Nigeria. So when he was returning, he was asking me, Daddy, will it be good for me to marry? I said, like, marry immediately, you need it. So he came back, fixed traditional marriage. NK was getting married. Not, not local husband. International husband. On the day of the traditional marriage, we came for the trad wedding when we arrived. So I went to greet her where she was sitting with the husband. I said, how are you? I came to greet her. She said, Daddy, that my auntie that said that thing. See her. Mm, mm, mm. See her here. Mm. I said, where? You see, under that canopy. Mm. I said, I can't see anybody. So something was happening. NK went to the backyard. Why the woman was in the canopy? Another woman in the family came to her. I said, why are you behaving like a witch? Your children did not bring firewood. They didn't follow us to cook. You didn't follow us to cook. To bring water, they didn't bring. You've not done anything since this girl is wedding today. And you are just sitting here like you are angry. Even if it is plate, come and help us and wash. So, she left. She left where she was sitting, went to the kitchen, and began to wash plates. When Enke went to the backyard to take something, she saw the auntie washing plate on her traditional marriage. I prophesy anybody that has said nothing good will come out of you. In the name of Jesus, you will achieve what they say you will not achieve. Anybody that said you will never become good in life, the Lord will cause them to depend on your table for survival. Listen, Horia Martina, Sesakapa. Look at someone and say, Open your mouth. Oh, I can't hear you say, Open your mouth. In Mark chapter 11, verse 12, put it on the screen. Mark 11, 12. Mark, how many minutes do I have? In Mark chapter 11, verse 12, on the screen, the Bible said, and on the morrow, when he was come from Bethany, he was hungry. The next verse, he said, verse 13, he said, seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if, he, he came happily, if he might find, can you put it on the screen, Mark 11, 12. He came happily if he might find anything, but he found nothing but leaves. For the time of fig was not yet. The next verse, verse 14 said, And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man shall eat fruit of you now and forever. And his disciples heard it. Can I see that scripture on the screen? <laughs> and on the morrow when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. The next verse. 13. And seeing a fig tree afar of happy leaves, he came, if happily he might find anything there on one. When he came, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of fig was not yet. The next verse. And Jesus answered and said unto him, No man shall eat fruit of thee now and forever. Why did Jesus curse the tree? Why are you looking at me like that? Why did Jesus curse? How many of you know the story? Jesus caused the fig tree. Why did he cause the fig tree? Because he didn't. Because he didn't have any fruit. That's what pastors told us when we were small. When we read the Bible, we saw it was a lie. Put verse 13. Put verse 13. If that tree had fruit at that time, that tree was committing a sacrilege. Because the Bible said, for the time of fig was not yet. You don't have fruit when it's not your time.
So the tree should not have fruit. So Jesus cannot cause a tree that is obeying time and season. So why did he cause the tree? Why did he cause the tree? 100 pounds. 200. Put verse 14. Put verse 14. And Jesus answered and said, No man shall eat of you. Look at my face. Jesus cursed the tree because the tree was a speaking tree. The key was talking. The tree was talking. Look at what the Bible says. Jesus answered. You don't answer what is not talking to you. The curse was a reply. It was not a statement. So what does the tree do? If you are entering Bethany, the tree will say, you will not have children here and you will carry it and enter and become buried. So when Jesus was entering, the tree was saying, you can't do miracles here. You can't have converts here. When Jesus had it, he didn't close his mouth. He replied the tree. If Jesus can reply a tree, my brother, reply your fellow human being. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. Reply! I was traveling to South Korea with my wife one day. We were in the airport. So when we got to the airport, as this young man just saw me, I was dressing the way I dress when I travel. I was, you know, sometimes I dress like Pastor Shamir. Amen. He's my coach. So I wasn't looking like a pastor. So the guy met me. We were just gisting. He said, what do you do? I said, I do everything. I didn't tell him I was a pastor. So we're talking. He saw my wife. He said, ah, fine girl. Who is she? I said, she's not my babe. <laughs> so we're talking, you know. I needed to buy a vaccination card. So I didn't have Naira on me because all the money I had, I had already changed the money to dollars I was traveling with. So they said I needed a vaccination card for the trip. I said, oh, really? So I wanted to go buy. The guy said, oh, oh bro, I have some Naira. Let me give you. So he gave me. Satan can use anybody. <laughs> he. <laughs> I first stop laughing. So he gave me 3,000 naira. 3,000 naira is. Is it up to one? Two, K, two pounds, right? He just gave me two pounds. He said, go. He said, yeah, he, he gave me two pounds. He said, buy the vaccination card. So. I bought the vaccination card. He gave it to me. He didn't know I was a pastor. So I bought it. And then I said, thank you. So when we, when we got into the plane, I sat in the business class. And then when he was not going to the economy, he said, ah, you be chairman now. Nah. I laughed. You know, he just got in and sat down. When we got to Korea, sir, we got to Seoul, when all of us came down, it happened that everybody that came from Nigeria with green passport, from not just from Nigeria, from every other part of the world, you have green passport. They took all of us one side. Chin chan chin, all of us went to one side. So, <laughs> chin chan chin, what? <laughs> all of us went to one side. <laughs> so we were there. Every other person entered the nation, sir. We were there for one hour, two hours, three hours. Nobody was talking to us. Nobody. So we we're just confused. I came for a redeemed Asian convention, redeemed ROCCG, their Asian convention. They were doing things out. So I was confused. So I saw one man who was speaking English that was passing. I said, Excuse me, why are we here? He said, Where are you from? I said, Nigeria. He said, Oh, that there's a problem in the nation for the past five days that people that come from Nigeria, they send everybody back until they rectify it. I said, Really? He said, Yeah, you guys came at the wrong time. So all of you are going back to Nigeria. I said, No, I can't go back. I, I came for something important. I said, please, who can I talk to? He said, eh, nobody. They had, I said, who is in a, a, a big man in immigration I can speak to? He said, they are all busy inside. He said, there's nobody. Here. So he was about to leave. So one short man was passing. You know, you know the way they walk. So <laughs> the, man, the, man, <laughs> the man was walking like this. And, and he said, that's one of our heads of immigration. So as soon as he pointed the man, sir, my eyes opened. I saw him carrying the wife into theater on Tuesday for kidney transplant. I said, please rush and tell him that I'm here because of the wife. That the wife, if the wife enters theater on Tuesday for the transplant without me laying hand on her, that she will not survive. So, he said, 
how did you know? I said, just go and tell please. Just tell him before he leaves. Please, I was begging him. So he, he said, he called the man by name. So he ran to the man. And he told the man what I said in his language. The man stunned. The man came. The man said, who are you? I said, I'm Chibi. He said, how did you know my wife has kidney problem? I said, I said that's why I came. And I cannot, I cannot pray for the wife in the airport. I must enter inside before I pray for the wife. No, I can't pray for you at the airport. I must go inside. Wisdom is profitable. So, I said, if she enters on Tuesday, she will die. I, say, I, I said, I came from Nigeria because of your wife. God sent me. He said, he said okay, okay. So, I was with him while we were talking. So, he said, please come. He, he began to shake. He was scared. He said, because he, it was a secret. Nobody in the airport knew. Even the man that spoke to him didn't know the wife had kidney issues. So, he, I had, so he said, please come. I was going with my wife. That boy that gave me two pounds in Nigeria, he was watching what was happening. I didn't know. He shouted, prophet, what about me? I said to the man, hold on. That's my prayer warrior. Bring him along. Bring him along. He said, you are three. I said, yes, it's my prayer warrior. Bring him. So I took the boy, myself and my wife, we were stamped in. Other people went back to Nigeria. How did he join me? His mouth was open. I totally forgot it. But he didn't close his mouth. If he closed his mouth, I wouldn't remember. When we got in, I saw the wife's condition. My wife looked at me. My wife said, why we got revealed to you an impossible case? My wife said, if this woman dies here, we'll go to jail. I said, God is merciful. God will keep her alive. We'll finish and run away. She can die. <laughs> because me, I didn't believe she would be healed. The case was critical. First day, second day. On the last day of the meeting, I told them to bring her to church. My wife was on the keyboard, playing keyboard. I was singing. I was crying. Power came on her. She left, fell from the chair, fell down. I said, leave her there. She slept off. I preached. After preaching, they were waking her. She didn't wake up. The man said, what did you do to my wife? I said, I didn't touch your wife. So I became more scared. And we were staying in, the man has, it, his house is like a ranch, massive house. So he gave us a building in his house. He refused the church, lodging us in the hotel. So we were not going to the hotel. If we were going to the hotel, we would have escaped. So we are going back to the house. We were afraid. That night, we didn't sleep. We, they carried her back and I said, put her on the bed. They kept her on the bed. We went to our place. My wife was shaking, panicking, crying. You and this your God. You and this your God. You and this your God. Every time. Why did I even follow you here? She was crying. I said, Father, please now. I said, Father, please. I didn't know that sleep God was performing surgery. I didn't know. In the morning, she woke up. And her strength. Told the husband, I'm hungry. Before the wife was stage, she entered the kitchen. Fetched food. She started eating, nothing, no pain. From morning till night. The next day, the next morning, they went to the hospital. They did scan, brand new kidneys too. They were asking the, the woman, what happened? She said, while I was sleeping, I saw a tall man and two dwarfs. The tall man was giving the dwarfs instruction. They opened my stomach. They brought out two mangoes that were rotten. And the tall man brought two green mangoes from the tree, gave them, they put back inside, and they were covering me. He said, that's all I can remember. That was when the transplant happened. The man was so happy. The man blessed me, sir. Sir, he blessed. You know, there's a difference between blessing and blessing. They're not the same. The man blessed me. You are calculating with your head. It cannot work. You will never come too close to it. He blessed me. And we were to leave the next day. So the boy who came with me said, Papa, I've gone to three nations I was deported. We sold our last land for me to come. And my uncle told me I will still be deported. Please, I don't want to go back to Nigeria. So I called the man and said, Sir, me and my wife are leaving tomorrow. My prayer warrior will remain in your house for one year. He said, why? I said, because in our kingdom, because the man is not a Christian. I say, in our kingdom, if miracle like this happens, somebody must stay back. 
I said, somebody must stay back to be renewing the healing. The boy was not born again. I converted him in the man's house. I taught him how to pray in the man's house. So I told the man, every morning he will pray for your wife. Every night he will pray for every month, pay him. The man said, okay. He talked how much, he agreed on how much he'd be paying the guy. He was paying him good. And then he was not just the payment. He connected him to businesses. In six months, the guy became large. How? His mouth was open. Give me your two hands. Give me your two hands. What do you want God to do for you? What do you need? What is that you need to speak about? See, stop wishing. Start talking. You don't have right to wish. It is only God who has the right to wish. I wish above all. He doesn't need to talk. He wishes and it happens. If you wish, it will die with you. Open your mouth and say something. You want to take over nations. You want to take over everywhere. I'm going to give you another two minutes. What do you need? Begin to say it now. Open your mouth in two minutes and say it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Stand on your feet, everybody. We're going to take three prayers and then I close. Three prayers. The first prayer is against the first son of Goliath. So all this time, all this while, I've been doing introduction because I was talking about the battle again. So let's go to where we read. The Bible said there was battle again. Put that second Samuel 15 with the Philistines. And at that time, Ishbi Benob, which was of the sons of the giant, thought to have slain David. He said, but Abishai. So, the stones of David became human manifestations. Abishai, the son of Zura, succored him and killed him. So, we want to war against the first son of Goliath. Are you ready to pray? Please lift up your right hand. The first son of Goliath, his name was Ishbi Benob. What does Ishbi Benob mean? Ishbi Benob is the spirit of almost. The spirit of almost. There are some of us, the battle we are fighting is against almost. It never allows you to achieve. You come close and it strikes off. Spirit of Omosa, it does not attack when you are beginning. It waits for you at the finishing point so that it can waste all your labor. That is the spirit that scatters relationship when it's about to produce marriage. Almost. Almost. Near success syndrome. It will look like it has happened. In fact, you will share testimony to your friends. Sometimes you speak by faith. This is, this is done. I'm buying a car next week. You have seen every apparatus that put, it to, that put together that the car must come. Two days before the thing, disappointment, fear will happen. So tell your friends and ask you, where is the car now? It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Almost can make you a liar. Almost. The spirit of Almost. Is a bad spirit. Tonight we are going to fight it. Are you ready to fight that spirit? Listen to me. If you pray well this night, whatever you started, you will finish it. Lift your right hand. Say, My father, my father. I can't hear you. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of almost. Fight in my life! Die! 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 Open your mouth and pray! Oh, shake a papa! A pante cola! Oh, suck a parande! A frege pecete! Ika capante liate! Oh, solinte linda cania! Oh, groconde gelege de giaca! A shebelete! Iparata! A beleria! Jesus, Paita, 
Eso capatela o rocoya leate ese de paya. Cheque de belenekia on de lendia. Urukua urukua o bebevendezi. Fekusa fekusa poruku diele. Perua que te le meniata. O para ti alaba. Ishanaya. Ishanaya. In Jesus' name. Stretch your two hands. Make sure your neighbor's amen is not louder than your own. Zechariah chapter 4, the Bible said, The Lord that helped your hand to lay this foundation shall also help your hand to finish it. In John chapter 4 verse 34, Jesus said, I have come to work the work of he that sent me and to finish it. In John 1930, Jesus screamed, it is fit. I prophesy anything you started five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, two months ago, that has refused to finish between now and August. Finish! 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 Finish your studies! Finish your papers! Finish your building! Finish your relationship! You don't serve a dead God! You serve a mighty God! He's the same yesterday! He's the same today! He's the same forever! When God says yes! No man can say no. When God opens the door, no man can close it. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Lift your hand and shout fire. Put 2 Samuel chapter, 5, chapter 21. Let's pray against the second son of Goliath. And then the last one, I'll close. Second Samuel 21, verse 17. Verse 18, quickly. Verse 18. And it came to pass that there was again battle mm, with the Philistines at God. At that time, Sibekiah the Hushitite slew Saf, which was of the sons of of the giant. The second son of Goliath, his name was Saf. Saf means chaff. Saf is the spirit of chaff. You know what is chaff? You know what is chaff? Chaff is um, ikapaya. When you get a rice grain, there's a, there's a grain, then there's a chaff of it. The chaff is, when, when you bring beans, that thing that coats beans is chaff. Chaff is not the real thing. Chaff is the fake thing. When the spirit of chaff is after a man, you are around, but you are invisible. When the spirit of chaff is following you, you are present, but your absence is felt. Spirit of chaff. Spirit of chaff is the spirit of misrepresentation. You look like it, but you are not it. Sometimes it's better not to look like what you are. When people hear Prophet Chidi, they think I'm one full man with big stomach. That's my father here. Am I communicating? When people hear, it's when you appear, you look like you are nobody. Sometimes we go to a place, they will leave me and go and welcome my boys. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. The main person is coming, looking like a nobody. Chaff! When you are a chaff person, you don't. You, oh, shiakapatiyala. Where you should be needed and you are around, they will leave you and take another. Someone said to me, our manager resigned 
I should be the next manager. They left me, brought a junior person to take over the position and instructed me to teach her what to do. Spirit of chaff. Spirit that deletes you when you are still there. You can do it. They are looking for somebody to do what you can do. Lift up your hands. Say every spirit that has deleted me from relevancy in the name of Jesus yeah! listen a chaff man drives the wife's car with condition a chaff man a chaff man does not have right when you are chaff people will disrespect you and honor someone you are better than and when they come close, you don't really have it. One day, I was in a church. And they needed money to build, to finish their building, sir. So, in Nigeria, when I came, it was a local place. But when I came in to preach, I saw two men that were sitting in front. They were huge. They were wearing big clothes like this. When I saw to them, I said, ah, they told me this church is poor, but see two rich men. So, money, they will give money. So, I wanted to raise, to tell people to give how much is 10,000 in pounds? Like five dollars, like five pounds. So I wanted to tell people to give for five pounds because they were broke. All right? So but when I saw those two men, I said, some rich men are here. So I preached, I spoke in tongues, I prophesied everything. I said, this church needs money to roof their church. If you're here, you can give God 500 pounds. Come out. I was shouting it. I was looking at the two of them with my eyes. And they didn't move. I said 200. 100 here. 50 for where? 20, you are talking to yourself. 10, I got wish here. When I got to 5 pounds, 3 girls, okay, when I got to 10 pounds, 3 girls came out. 5 pounds, 2, five, two, two, two boys, 2 girls came out. I went to those men. I said, both of you, can't you give God even if it's 100 pounds? This one, look at this one. This one, look at this one. Both of them laugh. Why were they laughing? He saw our size. He thought we are rich. He doesn't know we are chaff men. Come, sir. You see this is your size. You see this. Your, I'm talking to you. You see this is your size. You need money to add to this size. This size without money, no make sense. He says you fat. Money is supposed to follow you. You get money. You get angry. Thank you. <laughs> Lift your right hand. Say every spirit that has deleted me from being relevant today. Die. 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 Open your mouth and fire prayer. In Jesus' name. The third son of Goliath, and I close. I won't talk about the fourth one because of time. First Chronicles 20, verse 4. I hate this son. You see this third son? I hate him with my life. I'm telling you. Read together. And it came to pass after this that there arose war at where? Gaza. With the Philistines. At that time, Sibekai the Hishitai slew who? Slew who? Which was of the children of the... And they were... The third son's name is what? Sipaya means poverty. Do like this. Say Tofia Kwa. Tofia Kwa. 
Are you sitting down? Hey. See, you can be everything in life, but please don't be poor. I beg you. You can be everything. You can be anything you want to be. But you see tonight, I beg you, don't be poor. Who is a millionaire here? Oh, wait, wait, you didn't understand. Who is a billionaire here? If there is a God in heaven, every one of you that deferred sleep are to be here tonight, I want to decree you will never smell poverty in your life. Let me repeat myself. What I mean is that God will give you money to do anything you want to do in life. Somebody say, Lord, give me money. Hey, Andiasa. Abaila. Poverty is a curse. Listen, as soon as you become born again, the first thing Satan attacks is your pocket. When Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, the first temptation was a temptation against provision. Turn this stone into bread. He fights provision of believers. Satan will do everything to make sure you don't have money. I'm telling you, gospel is finance. I've preached by the grace of God in Nigeria as a whole. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not, I'm not blabbing. In Nigeria as a whole, I am the most traveled young preacher in Nigeria. Most. It's not a joke. I travel three times every month. Three times. I spend only one week with family. I'm a family man. I have five children. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I travel every, every week, three times. I've preached this gospel in every continent on earth. Wow. Australia inclusive. I, said I, I was talking to you. I started going to China when churches were underground. I started preaching in China when I was 19. Wow. Yes. I've seen dimensions of grace. Everything I have done is possible with finance. Even marriage cannot be sweet where there is no money. It takes finance to stimulate romance. <laughs> eh? Finance to stimulate romance. Yes. One day I traveled I traveled out one time to preach. I was going to Minnesota for one night. I told my wife, I, wanted, I had a vigil in Minnesota. My wife said, I can't travel. I said, please, baby. I begged and begged and begged. I begged. I said, you say, I traveled too much. You can't go anywhere. She took my passport. I said, my baby. <laughs> it's our friend. They know what they are doing, two of them. They know what they do to us. I beg her. She said, one night. I said, yes, ma, one night. Just one night, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm your baby, I'm coming back to you tomorrow. In two days, I'm coming, I'm coming. Say, okay. She gave me my passport. <laughs> I went to Minnesota to preach. I, I obeyed how I did one night. I landed Atlanta, flew to Minnesota, preached the vigil. A Saturday, I was on the flight back to Lagos. Sorry, back to Nigeria. I got to Abuja. When I landed at Abuja Airport, I was coming out from International. And then I saw an archbishop who I respect standing in, in the airport, Archbishop Kawas. He saw me. He said, ah, Chidi, where are you coming from? I said, I'm going from America. He said, ah, okay. He said he had a guest that was supposed to come. That the guy's number has been off. So, and he, they thought he was on air. They came to pick him. 
only for the man to just call them 10 minutes ago that he missed his flight and then his phone crashed. So he just fixed his phone. I said, ah, I said, ah. I said oh, sorry, Papa. I'm rushing to a way. I have a local flight to a way. I need to go. And he said, no, no, no. I, I, I've seen you. My program will waste. You have to come and preach. I said, sir, let me call my wife. He said, oh, okay, okay. Call my daughter. So I called my wife on the video. I said, baby, I've landed. She was smiling. Okay. She was so happy. So I just said, someone wants to talk to you. I put the phone on Bishop Kawasi's face. He's, he's an archbishop. So he, he saw her. He said, ah, oh, daddy, good day, sir. He said, hey, my daughter, how are you? <laughs> so I just saw your husband. My guest disappointed me. I want him to come and preach for me just for two days, okay? He's coming back to you. You cannot say no to a father now. <laughs> my wife was saying, okay, daddy, okay, daddy. <laughs> when, when they gave me phone, she, she boom. <laughs> She said, you know what you're doing? And I turned to the phone to Papa and said, she's laughing again. <laughs> so when I, I left, she sent me a text. You know what you're doing, Abby? I said, no, baby. I just, it was a coincidence. Say two days. I said, okay. I preached first. It was a four-day program. I preached first day. Preached second day. I wanted to leave. I said, where are you leaving this program for? You've raised the bar so high. Nobody can fit in. You have to finish it. I called my wife. I said, baby, see you. Said, you. I was trying to talk. She just called the phone. So I was confused. I stayed back. I did first day. I, I did third day. I did fourth day. I went to the airport to fly. I missed my flight. <laughs> Village people were against me. So I took extra three days. So the next day I was coming. I was calling her. She was not picking my call. I landed over there. And then my boys took me from the airport. We got to the house. So she, 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 I was, she knew I was back. So as soon as I entered the parlor, she came out from the kitchen. Daddy, welcome. She went back to the kitchen, like she was showing she's angry. So I went upstairs, took my clothes, scattered it on the bed, took the money I came with. So I took, I think it was three or $4,000. I left it on the bed. So I took the other money, I changed my clothes, went down, drove out to the bank to do a few things. So when she came upstairs, she saw my clothes littered everywhere. She saw money on the, on the bed. So she called me on the phone. She said, where are you? I said, I'm in the bank. He said, okay. I think you forgot money on the bed. I said, no, that's your share from the program. And what was she said to me? When next are you traveling? <laughs> if you're a man, if you're a man here, give me your hand. If you're a man here, give me your hand. You will not be poor in your life. If you're a lady, stretch your hand. I prophesy. In the name of he that died and resurrected, Whatever you desire financially, receive it in the name of Jesus. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Money is a defense. I was preaching on Sunday in church. I told them malaria is worse than malaria. Malaria is defined as the lack of money. That's malaria. It's worse than malaria. When you are broke, there are things you can't do. Look at me. Wealth is of the Lord. It is the desire of God to give you riches. God does not need money in heaven. We need it on earth. Who needs money here? Listen to me. Listen, please, I want you to li listen to me. Anything you ask now, it will happen. Yeah. I'm not joking. There's an angel called finance. Money is not paper. Money is a spirit. That is why most currencies has the face of dead men in it. Because money is a spirit. Lift up your hands. How much do you need? Tell God. Tell him now. Tell him. Tell him. Ikapatelia samania shagabala. Irababa de kalozina telebria tekas. Fresindia komonia tekiza kapa. Ranomian de gebehezi. Ikatayaja. Jalimana tande. Go babaya la kataba. Jalita rakaziate. Ekrepopo siya malataya. 
Rada kapa, kapaya, 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 kapaya. Kana maria tena mahashia. Look at me. Stand up. Look at me. Let me, let me tell you this. The power to be rich is in your hands. Is not in heaven. Is in your hands. Men of uh, uh, emoji. Prayer does not give money. You see, prayer and finance, there are two parallel lines that will never meet. There is from Genesis to Revelation, there was never a place prayer gave money. If prayer gives money, every prayer warrior should be a millionaire. So how do I get rich? It is only money that attracts money. Listen, I found this revelation when I was very young. I was 16. A preacher was preaching and he talked about the sacrifice. I didn't have up to that. Because I was so eager to become what he was. He was a blessed guy. So I ran out. When I came out, he said, you are bringing it tomorrow. I said, eh? The next day, I had to borrow and borrow and borrow because I was already a preacher. I started preaching at the age of nine. I was that young preacher in Nigeria, nine years, ten years. At 15 years, I was filling stadium. 13 years, I was doing stadium to sit. So, I've, I was blessed, yes, but the, what he talked about, I didn't have it. These ones were my members when they were small, when they were like this. These ones here that are grown, they were my members in church. They were, how old are you people that time? 11 years. You see, they look at them, they're grown now. So uh, when you see me, I'm, I'm young, but I'm old. I preached, I'm 36. So I started preaching at 9. Put it together. When I explain scriptures, I've read it for a long time. Yes. I came out the second day and I brought the sacrifice. The man looked at me. Papa Mopai. He said, did your father give you? I said, no. Your mother? No. What do you do? I said, I'm a preacher. He took the sacrifice. He poured oil in his head. He took it and laid on my head. And he said, money will respect you. Yeah. The next year, I preached in Abuja. And I had my first million. When the man gave it to me, my, heart, my body shook. He gave me the check. And he bought me a ticket to fly to Port Harcourt. I was 17. I entered the plane to fly. It was my first flight that time. I was flying. I was about to fly. I was scared. Because then, so Soliso just crashed in Nigeria. So I was afraid. I'm an only child. When I was going into the plane, I saw Papa Omobai again in the plane. Sitting in business class, I said, ah, Papa Ma is in the plane. He will not crash now. I entered and I sat down. When I sat down, God said to me, is this your first million? I said, yes. He said, how rich do you want to be? I said, I want to be a billionaire before 30. You know what God said? He said, take that money and give to the same man. I said, do you spit it from my maternal home? <laughs> I bind you in the name of Jesus. The spirit kept on speaking. I had fever immediately. My head was aching. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. I was under pressure. Have you been under pressure to give? I was under pressure, sir. I opened the overhead locker, brought out the check. I went to the business class. If you know Papoma very well, you know Papoma by. You can't, if you talk to him, he will cause you. He's an old man. He behaves like a spirit. When I say, Papa, I want to say, come on, get out. You deuce boys, you don't have a... I say, sorry, daddy, I have a check for you. He say, oh, see that, my son. <laughs> Money has power. I took the check. And I gave him. When Papa saw the amount, he said, how old are you? I said, I'm 17. I said, I saw in your meeting last year. And you blessed me with oil from your head. And he said, I said, this is my first million. He looked at me. He stood up. He took gray hair from his head. He took it out. He said, give me your head. He placed it on my head. 
And he said, money will serve you. Man of God, the foundation of all I have is that word. See, I'm a very loyal, humble. My brother was in Nigeria. He saw how big I was. He was screaming. He said, are you this big? And you are this loyal. I said, wealth should humble a man. Wealth shouldn't keep your hands up. I've laid hand on five presidents. Verifiable. I stare them, sit down. They sit down. If I first wake up, I'll call you. Something will happen to you outside. You say, I'm not going out today, sir. They'll be a fool. I was in Zambia. I, I gave a national prophecy. I was invited to the state house. When I prayed, the president blessed me, sir. The blessing he gave me, I couldn't carry it to enter local flight. He had to fly me on jet, presidential jet, back to Nigeria because it was huge. I can't tell you the amount. You faint. I've seen God in diverse ways. I wake up sometimes and I tell my wife, I want to go to interior villages and build churches. I've built 26 churches for pastors who are old, I don't know. In villages. I've seen God do things. And God does not give you until he sees your heart. Your heart is what connects you to what you would receive. Open those two hands. If you're sitting down, listen, I want you to desire wealth. Listen to me. The anointing that is roaming here now is not for healing the sick. There's an anointing here. There's an angel flying around. He's looking for men. He will sign their check. I'm telling you. In the next 10 years, you cannot finish what is coming now. In the next 15 years, what is happening to you now, you can't finish it. It's going to be too much that you cannot finish. I'm telling you. It will be too much. One day, listen to this. One day, sir, I was driving in Oweri. I have a land in a place they call Eastgate Hotel. So I was driving past that area. I saw a church. Listen to this. I saw a church beside my land. They were removing the roof of the church. I think they, 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 they couldn't pay. So the owner of the land was removing. You know the way they do in Africa, scattering things. So I just saw it was a church, so I packed. I was on a shirt and T-shirt. So I came down, and I came there. I said, what's happening? The man said, we are owing rent for the land. And then he's removing everything. He doesn't want us to. We're begging him. I said to the man, please, how much is their money? Let me give you. So come on, get out. Come on, get out. All these small boys. Oh, you're driving your father's car and you're coming here to talk to me. I said, are you mad? The man said, I'll slap you. So when my security men were in the car, two of them, they now saw that it's like we're talking. So the two policemen came down. The man said, oh, you want to show me you have police? He said, this is my land. I cannot leave it. Blah, blah. He was shouting. So I became embarrassed. So I turned to the pastor. I said to the pastor, sir, give me your number. I'll call you later. My, my, my mind was later when I call him, I'll give him money to rent somewhere else and do church. So the, because he was crying, he couldn't even call his number. He gave me his handbill, flyer of his program that has his phone number on it. So I took the flyer. I said, okay, I'll call you tomorrow. I entered the car and I went home. Listen, when I got home, in the night, I was sleeping. And I saw myself in that my land that was close to where they were before. I was clearing the land. I was a laborer. I was a labor man. I was clearing. After clearing the land, I took the signpost of a church and I put in my land. When I woke up, I remember the name on the signpost that I put there. I didn't call it anything. In the afternoon, I remember I said, my, my, my security said, Daddy, have you called that pastor? I said, hey, get me the flyer. He went to the car, got me the flyer so I can take his number. When I took the flyer, the name in the dream on the, on the signpost was the same name in the flyer. I didn't know. When I saw that, I told my wife. My wife said, what does it mean? I said, it means God wants me to give them the land. I said, how can I give land to a poor man? If I want to sow land, I'll sow to a man who has higher anointing. How can I give land to a poor man who does not have anointing that could even pray for? I said, I'm not giving. So I left it. I didn't do it. The second night I was sleeping, I saw myself in the same land. I was molding block putting block in the ground, building. When I woke up, God said to me, you will not just give them land, you will raise a structure for them. If you don't do it today, I will add another thing. I say, Lord, don't add, I will do. <laughs> don't add, I will do. 
So I took the papers of the land, called my lawyer. We did a deed of donation. I called the pastor. I said, meet me in the land before your land. We met there. Listen to this. I took the papers of the land and I gave to him. And I said to him, sir, this is my land. I want you to take here. He said, pastor, we don't have money. We'll be paying you one, one month. I said, no, it's your own. Look at the name. It's the church name. The man collapsed. He was crying. I said, this is not just all. I'm going to raise a structure for you. So I put block, round block, half block. I put pillars. I roofed it. I bought some instruments. And I fixed it for them. And I was excited. Strange things I do are not on social media. When it is giving, it is not for people to see. I finished it. And then the man was excited. I have had peace in my heart. The next week, I went to preach in Abuja, in an Anglican church. I was preaching, an old woman was sitting in front, looking at me like this. I would shout, Amen! She would not shout, she was just looking at me. I would do everything, you know, when I finished, she said, come my son. I came. She said, how old are you? I told her. I said, mama. She said, hey! I love you. When she said, I love you, I looked at her age. She was old and I replied, I love you too. Why are you laughing? I replied, I love you too. And then she said, you were preaching with energy. She said, I remember when I was young. And we were talking. She said, can I have your number? I said, why not? I gave my mama my number. She took my number. She said, I want you to be my son. I said, okay. The next day she called me. Have you arrived? I said, yes. Every morning she would call me. How was your night? Afternoon she would check on me. In the night she would check on me. She was behaving like a biological mother. We had that relationship for only two weeks. One day she called me after two weeks. She said, my son, I'm going to die. I said, you cannot die, man. I said, let's speak in tongues. He said, it's not a tongues matter. Come and see me in Abuja. Come tomorrow. So the next day I flew to Abuja to see her. And then when I got to her house, she told me where she, she lives in Asokoro. Asokoro is the most expensive place in my nation. So I went there. She lives in a four plots of land. She built a small building there. And then she's living there. And then she began to tell me her story. She said, I had two children. My only son and my only daughter, too. My son died after youth service. After university, my son died. My daughter is in America. For 19 years, I've not heard from her. I know she's a junkie. She sniffs cocaine. I don't know if she's alive or she's dead. She said, I had a chest, I had a heart condition. I've been treating it for 22 years. She said, I've sold all I have because of this chest infection. He said, and now the doctor has told me that my heart can no longer carry my body. He said, please, I'm going to, if I die, the only property I have left is this place where I'm living. And you are the son I know. So I have told my lawyer that I'm willing here to you. It was strange. While we were talking, the lawyer drove in. He said, that's my son I told you. We exchanged pleasantries, took my number and everything. A plot of land in Asokoro is 800 million naira. That's like 800,000 pounds. Or maybe 600,000 pounds. That's what the plot of land is there. So by four, six times four is 24, Abi. It's 2.4 million pounds. That's the worth of the land. And it was sounded strange to me. So I prayed with her. I said, you cannot die and everything. We finished praying. After four days, she died. Went for the burial. After the burial, the lawyer called me and took the papers of that land and gave to me. As soon as she gave it to me, God, I closed my eyes. You know what I saw? The church I built for the pastor. And God said to me, My son, you can never outgive me. There is no human being that outgives God. God will always outgive us. Because he is the owner, the cattle that are in the hill are his own. Everything belongs to him. And I said to God, show me where else to build so that things can keep coming. I have seen God in dimensions. Four times I've closed my account on the altar of God. When you hear account, it's not account. There's a difference between account and account. They are not the same. There is account. What's in your account? Is it account or account? Account. 
Account. Now, is it account or account? In Jesus' name, we are talking by faith. When you hear, I've closed account. Four times, God spoke to me. He said, give me all. Pain in my heart. Tears in my eyes. Thank God for my wife. That's why when, it's, when you're marrying a wife, marry a wife who understands giving. If you marry Sarah, you know, people talk about Sarah, mother of faith. I don't preach Sarah in my life. I've never preached Sarah. Sarah is the most wicked woman in the scripture. From Genesis to Revelation, nobody was as wicked as Sarah. Third richest man in the Bible was Abraham. The richest man in the Bible is Solomon. Second is Job. Third was Abraham. Abraham, as rich as he was, it was Sarah that made Abraham impregnate Haggai. When they were sending Haggai away, he, she, the Bible said, she said, my son will not share inheritance. She blocked everywhere and gave Ishmael a gallon of water and a loaf of bread. What kind of wickedness is that? She is not a giver. That was why when Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, he rose up early in the morning when Sarah was still sleeping. Because if Sarah was awake, you can't take Isaac anywhere. Am I talking to someone here? Everybody